Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kitzer from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. sir hey there young fella hey i'm looking for a guy named buffalo bob real name's tim how can i help you well i want to talk to you about the time you went to the grand canyon sure why don't you come on inside i uh, what'd you say your name was joe dirt joe dirt it puts the lotion on you have no idea what kind of hell i can bring you oh! Oh, all right, enough, you broken record, okay? I've been down here two weeks, man. What do you want? It puts the lotion on its skin. No! Well, say it. Don't spray it, brother. Dang. I need a towel now. It does what it's told! There, look. I'm putting the lotion on the skin. I'm rubbing it in. <laughs> hey, tell you the truth, brother. Between you and me, that thing with the dog is coming off a little fruity. Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Trojan1979 welcoming you to the next game here in the Week 1 broadcast on this GBLAN online tournament. I'm with Retro Sports Gamer himself, Tom Stanky. Welcome to the booth. How you doing? I'm doing great, Troy. I'm excited for yet another year of the GBLAN Tecmo Super Bowl tournament. And Week 1's goodbye horses. Can you explain a little bit about about what this is what this theme is about goodbye horses uh this is a play on silence of the lambs it's a song that's playing when buffalo bill is doing his transformation dance and uh he says something i'd me hard so i'd lurch me hard we go ahead and interchange that word for another uh so we do allow lurching this week for the theme every game uh that's being played this week is going to feature teams with horses in them so that would be the broncos and the colts we have set matchups that the players are allowed to choose from NYNY uh, chose this matchup, the Patriots and the Colts. And by the way, you can see Tom's friendly face down at the bottom. And you can see my ugly mug up here going with the natural daylight. Hey, raise him if you got him. Recording this at uh, right after work here, getting right into it. Uh, if you saw the last broadcast, I actually have a different microphone. Love to hear in chat how you think that sounds. Uh, Tom's using that trusty one that we got you last year. Let's get right into it. Let's do some. Pates, excuse me, Patriots, Patriots, ah, Patriots and Colts. Do this in one take, by the way. Here we go. Break down the matchup. I'm still working from home, by the way. This is how we do it. This is just a little break to commentate a Tecmo Super Bowl game. And what better than a K Momonar NYNY Patriots Colts? Wow, what a break this is. This is this is what it's all about, folks. Going right to the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, and so typically the matchup, the, the Patriots have a little bit of an advantage because they actually have some decent defenders in Lippet and Tippet, and their top side corner is pretty good too. Uh, the Colts don't have anything really on defense, but they do have a few better offensive players. Bentley with his 44 max speed being one of them. All right, from the top hash mark motion playbook here, Albert Bentley. Not a whole lot there. Huge taps from NY, NY up to 15, so that's that's a development for him. It, seem, it seems like we see a, a lot of higher tap counts from players these days. Call pass one. Clarence Verdeen was the intended receiver. It's triple covered and complete third and eight. People have been flexing their taps left and right. I've, I've noticed a lot of those too, Troy. They're in quarantine. Oh, yeah, back-to-back -back <laughs> call plays. Bill Brooks is there, but double coverage closes in, and it's a punt in time. And you may see a lot of this in a Patriots-Colts game. The Colts went three and out? Are you serious? Can't believe it. Rowan Stark. Huge punt, one of the top punters in the game. John Stevens running around back there and takes it to the 18 and out of bounds first in 10 for NYNY. Who would you say is the favorite in this one, Troy? 
Um, Shemila Nation slash NYNY has been around uh, quite a bit. Kim Olnar is up and coming. I think this will be a close game, um, but uh, I would have to give NYNY the edge in this. I, I, if you were to call this uh, in my way, I would actually take the Pats, uh, but it uh, looks like Kim Olnar wanted the Colts. The he one thing wanted I the Colts? Say, uh, he, yeah, Kim Olnar uh, chose, you know, player one picks the matchup in our tournament. So, George Adams. That's going to come back to bite him. Zigging and zagging. Dwayne Bickett, nowhere to be found. I'll say this of the Colts. They're all court sort of equally bad, so you can take just about anyone you want positionally. Dwayne Bickett. Yeah, that's true. Cutback is there. Mossy to Tipo. Here he goes. And he is running free. Wow, he looks faster than 31 maximum speed right now. 20. And out of bounds at the 12-yard line. First down. Patriots. NYNY doing some work early on the ground. Yeah, and really, Mark, you know, Pryor is one of the the better defenders here, but he ain't going to get the job done either. Uh, Wilson, he's a decent quarterback, 44 pass control. Um, but really, NYNY is having his a time driving here. Called run one. Mike Pryor with a huge yeah. interception against Drew Bledsoe's overthrow in Super Bowl 31. Packers are able to over come the Patriots in that game. Third down and nine in this game. NY, NY from the bottom hash mark offset formation. Dwayne Bickett on defense. It's past two. He's going to laser it into Irving Fryer out of his wow. reach. And that is a touchdown for NY, NY. He strikes first. You know what? That was good positional defense by K. Molnar. It's just the Colts are that bad. If he would have had any decent defender that actually had an interception rating that was higher, he probably would have tipped that pass Clarence Verdin on the return here. We'll see if Kim Molnar can convert uh, this possession anything positive besides a Rowan Stark punt. And just to the 11, looks like you've got a sideline reporter. Hey, we welcome yeah. sideline reporters here on this broadcast. They are welcome. Yeah, we got we to gotta get some baby shark going while I commentate here. Hey, then my copyright flag. <laughs> they might have to sing it manually. Albert Bell oh. with a nice run here. Dive is missed, and he gets the bump. Here comes Albert Brentley. Excuse me, Bentley. Zigging, zagging. And if there's one reason to take the Colts in, in this matchup, he is the reason, in my opinion. Bentley, with a great return, excuse me, run past the 50, and it's a first down, and looks like we've got a good condition player. Clarence Verdeen is good, the kick returner. 7 nothing game here, NYNY over K. Molnar. If you got a baby shark, you got a baby shark. You do what you got to do here in the yeah. commentary booth. We do this in one take. Ronnie LaPette. At the bottom, it is a cold play. Second down and 14. Yeah, there's not much variation in the two players' playbooks. Uh, a lot of people using a few motion runs these days, I noticed. I wonder who started that trend. Uh, I've seen it first widespread by Mort, but uh, from what I hear, Chris Vogt used to use those plays quite a bit. CD vote 14. I wish he was in this thing. Bentley with the run of the bottom. Zigging, zagging around and taking down just short of the marker. K. Molnar is moving the ball very well in this drive. And it is fourth down, so decision time. 407 Tecmo Tommy is going forward on a fourth and one. Uh, Yeah, I think it's, I don't know, it's a, it's a tough call. We'll see where he, how this works out for him. Ryan LePet on defense. Bentley running across the formation. Gets past the marker and out of bounds. So it works out. First down for K. Molnar. And he's going back to his workhorse. Albert Bentley picking up the first down easily there. Red Gun Z pass four is the play. Trudeau moving around. That drone suddenly came unglued there from his position. Second down and eight. I think you want a little bit more on the ground there. But well defended by NYNY. I think Molnar has to be thinking about managing the clock as he tries to prance in the end zone here. Maybe he doesn't want to score too quick, but that's wide open. He has to take it. Nice completion to the wide receiver one on pass two. First down for K. Molnar. 310 remaining here. Tecmo time, and we have a motion run incoming. Run to the outside. Bentley to the five. Double seven tap. And that's seven yards. Seven, seven, Dub seven. Like that's tough. good enough to win <laughs> three. Years. Some big bucks in Vegas. Seven, seven, seven. And the, here's where the slow passing speed will hurt you on this play. And doesn't matter because he can't run fast enough to get away from Tim Gold QB sack. 
and it's third down yeah. and six. Yeah, with these types of teams, it tightens up even more within the red zone. So single back formation for the top hash mark. Another call play. Tries to go up, and it's deflected. Once that hot route, I think he wouldn't have had enough room anyway, and now the field goal attempt will be made here, fourth and six from the top hash mark. Yeah, I think he has to just try to come away with some points here. It's a good drive. Oof, he tried to go bad. in with Agnew instead of, uh, well, he does ding it in there. Wow. Uh, instead of the uh, Andre Tippett, that was a little awkward, but he looks like he got a visitor down there. Yeah, we got everybody. We got the whole family going for this big uh, broadcast. Well, it technically was a family affair. John Stevens running around, taken down at the 12. 156 tech one time. So plenty of time here for NY, NY to try to get into field goal range. Conditions are not his friend right now. More of Cook and Go, though, that will help a little bit. That does give you a, at least a semi-deep threat. Yeah, Marv Cook is the one shining star in the Patriots' offense. I mean, if you're going to take shots or do anything, he he's the main guy. I mean, Irving Fryer is not bad either, but as you can see, he's in bad condition right now. But uh, Marv Cook's going to be the main threat on the Patriots' side of things. All right, first down and 10 from the 12. And it's run four up the middle. Marv Allen. As you see, Molnar tries George to bust Allen, I'm in. Sorry. My apologies on that, George Allen. Oh, no problem. No one even knows the players on these teams anyways. And there's our first lurch of the game. The risk is taken, and it pays off. Came Molnar taking NYNY down. Normally that's not permitted, but this week it is. I'm so proud of Kay Molnar for that. Oh, the JJ to Marv Cook. NY, hey, that's NY the guy puts we were just talking face. about. He comes up big, minute 16, NYNY, looking good. George Allen running out of room here. Oh, does get the bounce off, but just makes one yard of it, second and nine. Those 31 maximum speed RBs aren't going to do a whole lot of damage I'm typically. Talking Tecmo. Here we go. Pass one. Wills. Once more, oh. that's a bad throw. Well... Sometimes the quarterbacks aren't going to be able to get it to old Marv. You saw it right there into the third row. After one pass like that, I think Flo would have put Grogan in. Oh, yeah, that's that's oh, all. There's it another oh! large fourth down and 14. K. Molnar's done his homework. He knows when he's going in with the nose tackle for the dive. If you sit on run three, that would have been a safe dive on his part. And he and he's about to force a punt. What a excellent play. Taking advantage of the theme and the rules this week. I will say this. With having only 31 maximum speed running backs to contend with, at least in average condition, even if he wasn't sitting on run three there, the risk is minimal because that running back is not going to get away from you that bad. You're right, yeah. He's not busting it all the way. He, he might be in better field goal range, but that's about it. So let's see how early Turdo lets this go. Here he goes, trying to go to Pat Beach. Not the fastest guy on the team, and it's intercepted, and this will end the half here. Uh, you're not going to kick it back with uh, Ronnie LePet. And taken down, 32-yard uh, line, doesn't matter. 7-3, welcome to halftime. Let's see if Kim Onar skips it. And he does. Oh, what a... Oh, this guy... There's Get a reason why his picture was the way it is, because that's what he does. That's what he's known for. Yeah, I have, se I have seen those hundreds of times, so that may be thousands. So I could see why he wants to skip it, but come on, for these broadcasts, give it a rest. Yeah, he wanted to save himself 10 seconds. No Grogan. You know, when, probably... Grogan, when Grogan enters the chat, everyone should definitely give him some love. But looks like uh, Allen is Mar – is it Marv Allen, George Adams? I think that's what I was throwing. I, I get those names mixed up a little bit there, some similarities. Um, but it looks like Adams is an average. Tatupo is an average. Grogan is also a six-max speed guy, isn't he? Yeah, so he actually is the worst player in Tecmo Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I think uh, – was it Ron Solt or something on the Eagles is the worst offensive lineman. He might be a close second. 
Um, as QB is though, definitely Grogan is the worst. Yeah, so he only comes in when he's in excellent condition. Otherwise, he's just riding pine all night. Yeah, there there is something. If you maybe in the, if you he was in good and uh, Wilson was in bad, you want to have more time to get that JJ down the field. That slower pass speed might help you. Um, all right, so the attempted lurch on the LB four did not succeed second down and two. So good avoidance by NYNY. And we'll see how he adjusts his play calling based on the, what he experienced with the lurching previously. So this is pass four, and he's going to go underneath. Nice arrow trick to Hartley Dykes, 35, and taken out of bounds at the 37-yard line. First down for NYNY in the lead, 7-3, 3.52 remaining. Techno time here in the third down from the bottom hash mark. Here we got another defender who's not worth much, but he's able to stop the Patriots to a one-yard gain. Uh one of the things the Colts can defend is a Patriots running game. That's probably the only thing. Any passing attack, forget about it. All right, we've got a cold pass, too. Goes underneath the stationary, and he throws a pick right to Dwayne Bickett, and that is the break came on our needed. He is in field goal range already. Albert Bentley and Verdine are in good. Very good defense. He knew exactly where he was trying to go, and uh, NYNY threw it. And, yeah, it's going to hurt. So he's got to play some defense. First down and 10 here for the Colts. Plays are dialed in. Second, excuse me, bottom hash mark, single back formation. Looks like NY, NY has not attempted any lurch. He's got Ragnew on defense, who is a speedy guy, uh, behind a little bit there. And enough for a first down is that run to the bottom by Kim Olnar. Good old classic run three, getting the job done with the first down. Bears. The Bears. On defense. So a lot of these players in this game uh, were in that 85 Super Bowl, fateful 85 Bears Super Bowl victory. Yeah, they still made the cut for that 1991 Tecmo Super Bowl. We're glad to have them in the game. Third down and 10 here. K. Molnar having trouble moving the ball here. Yeah, things are flattening out a little bit. So avoidance here. The blocking is holding up on this run play, but not anymore. So he's got to make a move here. Elber Bentley really nowhere to go. Fourth down and nine. And this field goal helps you only in, in that if your opponent scores a field goal, you can still get the game tied. And it's, this probably is good. That's a good kick. Yeah, 7-6. So came on our can take some risks and give up three points and still be in this game yeah i mean in a game like this with these two clunker type teams you got to take that field goal and just hope you can get in good field position again to kick another one hopefully he doesn't get a big bomb to fryer or marf cook because that's what i'd be looking for if i was the patriots so this time he sat on run three and went for the dive so Right now, if you're NYNY, I think that pass one uh, is a major liability, and it's something you should avoid. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at it again, see what's there. Nice plays are there to Hartley Dykes for a nine-yard gain, third down and one. It was open longer in that it took a while for Al excuse me, uh, Wilson's pass to get there, but he gets a completion. Bickett, we've seen him get an interception on the last series. Nice patient run there by NYNY to get the first down with his legs now from the top hash mark single back formation. So he is going back to run three. Um, hasn't had a ton of success with this and now a tap off and gets the help from the drones as Cam Olnar. Welcome to the fourth quarter. 7-6, your score as we continue game two here of week one action. I mean, this is kind of what you uh, expect out of this. Rogan. No, no, Ooh, don't do it. Well, you, you, got, do you, got, you got six versus six, so you get a little more scrambling with uh, with Grogan there. So, yeah, he's in good. He's, yeah, you're right. He's the 13 max speed versus six, but I well, elected him to keep him on the bench. Don't blame him. All right, offset eye formation. Bickett trying to contend with run four gets the bump and the drone support third down and nine. A little bit of a risk, but again, the slower running backs. He's willing to take that risk as Cam Owner. A good defense, third down and nine. Yeah, his run defense has been stout. I'm surprised that uh, NYNY is continuing to run. 
All right, Bickett again across the formation and the cutback, and it's just short of the marker, fourth in one. Huge fourth down here. You're essentially giving up the lead if you don't convert. Yeah, and you never know what the Patriots. Oh, run three. Allen gets through. Nice run. He's in the field goal range already, zigging, zagging. 40, 35, out of bounds at the 34-yard line for NYNY. And that could be a huge play in this game. We'll we'll rewind and see what happens, but a huge first down. All right, so run one is called by K. Molnar. Loss of five, second and 15, still in field goal range. I really think NYNY is just trying to drain as much clock as possible. George Adams Why, this time again gets the taps, but the two drones are there, only two yards. Timeouts are being burned, third and 13. I feel like the only way you're going to get yards in the run game like NYNY did on that big fourth and one is if you're if the guy in defense just basically messes up and gets bounced off. Like there's there's no recovery with the Colts. And there's no speed on the Patriots end. So huge stop there. Looks like NYNY is in field goal range is going to go for this here. K Molnar uh, hopes for a block, but hopefully if he gets through... Oh, this is a perfect punt. Excuse me, perfect kick. Yeah, that's going Should through. Should be good. Yeah, 10-6 here. So, K. Molnar, you know, had to give that up before. Um, so, a 10-6 game. He wants to continue on. Uh, I apologize before. He, the field goal does not tie the game. But it does keep... All right, this is on. what we all came for. 10-6. The Colts got a chance here. We got two minute drill coming up. Let's see what K Molnar is made of. I should have had a couple of beers before I started this. You're in a better, better mode for this. Oh yeah, I'm locked in and ready. Oh, trying to do the JG overthrow. Oh, that could have been a pick. Huge second down and ten. Almost gave away the game right there, but he lives to see another down. Motion play from the top hash mark. Andre Tippett on defense across the formation. Bentley. Nice cross back. Not a lot of yardage, though, and you're running out of options here. Uh, you want to get the first down if you can, but otherwise two heaves may be what it takes. Yeah. If he secures this first down, he might treat the rest of the drive differently. Clarence Verdeen with a completion, and now he's got plenty of room for a back and B situation first and 10. NYNY with the bend, don't break defense. He just has to give him the first down. And we'll see what Molnar does with this. Second down and 15. Play guest. Just runs out of bounds. Saving that time. The yardage really doesn't matter here. you got to score a touchdown. Run three is the call. Gets the bump. Third down and sixth. And at least makes this conversion more manageable. There's enough time where you want to extend the game. But eventually you got to start heaving it. This is the last first down he should care about. Then it's time to take a couple chucks to the end zone. Bottom hash mark. Pass three is your call. Everyone's covered, so he's going to have to heave one now. Here it goes to Verdeen. Oh, overthrow, dive, interception, and now he's locked in a grapple. And yeah. finally taken down. That was his shot. It looked like it had a chance. And uh, all NY, NY has to do here is run the clock out. Yeah, 27 seconds. Let's see if he could force anything crazy, but he took the shot he had to take. There was nothing there. And here comes and, the punt. So let's see. Uh, and these are rarely brought back. Rarely brought back. Let's see if there's any possibility of a return. Verdine Zagging. catches it. Zagging. Well, Verdine does have the running speed right now. Nice dodging so far, but he gets grappled. You know, he had a, a little bit of momentum there, but that's a tough thing to do. 10-6 your game. NYA anyway, anyway, Trumpet over came Molnar. What did you see? I mean, I saw a hard-fought game between two teams who don't have much going for them. And uh, in the end, it just came down to a last drive like it does a lot of the time. And, uh, you know, the Patriots were victorious because they had the better defense, like we said in the beginning of the broadcast. Yeah, it certainly worked out that way. Just enough yards on the ground. 20 runs for 114 uh, on the on the ground for New England. And uh, seven first downs. That's actually a pretty good effort 
from the Pats. Uh, just running out of time there was Kay Molnar. Looked like he had an opportunity, but the overthrow of the player two bug uh, led to that interception, and that is your score, 10-6. So stay with us. We'll have another game for you soon. We're back. It's game three. Trojan with Tom, the retro sports game. Are you ready for another one? It's time for some more Tecmo in the GB land. RSG Tecmo Tourney Week 1. We got goodbye horses, and who is the matchup this week, Troy? Disaster Master and Basement Nemesis. I don't know. I've had the pleasure of playing Basement Nemesis. Disaster Master uh, is a accomplish online, and I think he won a tournament out west uh, locally. I know he's from, I think, Arizona. Correct me if I am wrong in chat on that. Uh, Basement Nemesis, I think a Minnesota player. Uh, interesting to see what he is capable of here in our third game of Week 1 action. Goodbye, horses. All matchups feature horses' teams, so that's Broncos or Colts. Uh, and then there's set matchups that they can be paired up with. Uh, and this one, uh, Denver Broncos, Pittsburgh Steelers was called. Let's take a look here uh, as we go into the screen. Hey, by the way, I'm up here, Trojan, down below, my co-host, owner of the channel, Tom, doing his thing in the color booth. And uh, his lighting looks way better than mine, especially with that amazing uh, cabinet showtime and blitz cabinet behind him there. Uh, Broncos are going to be manned by Disaster Master as a player, too. Basement uh, is going to be uh, running the Steelers as player one. Why don't you break down this matchup for us? Well, I think on Denver's end, they got Bobby Humphrey, and he's the fastest player in this game on the offensive end. He's going to be a huge factor. And then you got Elway's scrambling ability with his 25 max speed and really on the pittsburgh end of things you're trying to make the denver player make mistakes throwing the ball with elway forcing fumbles and denver has not the best defense but they got a good utility defense with a couple of good linebackers on the ends and a couple safeties who could get it done dennis smith being the top guy at water will lay the wood once in a while all right from the top hash mark Looks like uh, Rick Strom's going to take the start here for the Steelers as opposed to Bobby Brister, who actually became a Denver Bronco later in his career. Going to green, has him over the top. If Dennis Smith just gets that, if that is a Bobby Brister throw, that's probably picked first down and 10. That, yeah, Strom just dropped it in a bucket with that 38 pass control. What a guy. Strom going back and be here all brings it back underneath to Worley. Tim Worley with a nice reception out to the 31st and 10, moving the ball two big passes here on two plays. Hey, I, I'm after two plays, I'm liking what I see out of the basement. He knows what he's doing out here. Second down of four. I think he forgets he's playing with the Steelers. Sometimes you got to be a risk taker. Pass one is the call, takes the sack. Mark Munford, the drone in there. Third and 13. That's what's tough with playing with the Steelers. When you get blitzed on, it's really hard to want to throw a ball up. Already in field goal range. You'll be taking points off the board. Just waiting for that defender selection, Dennis Smith, and now it's run three, so I don't think you want to get run against, but I don't think it's going to matter. He's got him down short of the marker, fourth and six, probably field goal time. And the Steelers are one of those teams where you're, you're happy with the field goal. Your defense is so dominant. It's away, and it's good. So, on the boot of Gary Anderson, 3 nothing. First possession from basement. Well, like I said, they're one of those teams where if you get three points on the board and you're in the lead, you got to be feeling good. So, good, good start for the basement. Basement Nemesis will try to stop Disaster Mattress' first possession here. Uh, going with Elway as opposed to Kubiak, which I would expect here the mobility is going to be a factor. Yeah, and, and the passing speed, too. Don't forget about that. You want to laser that in, assuming it doesn't go back. Nice run by Humphrey to open the drive. 35, 40. And taken down past the 45. We'd like to see him get out of bounds, but Disaster Master doing good work on his first play. Oh, yeah, what a great start. Big run for Bobby Humphrey. As far as the call, lots of guys are up. Oh, getting gobbled up here by drones is Disaster Master. I think you like to have that one back, second down and 17. Sometimes you're reluctant to take what the defense gives you because everyone's open and he got sacked. 
Elway lets it go, and that is a mistake intercepted by the GOAT, Woodson. Easy pick there. And early on in this one, the uh, offensive line of the Broncos is completely falling apart. And uh, Elway is scrambling for his life, just chucking it up. He lets one go to green and goes out of bounds. And honestly, I think that's probably better for him than it was thrown out of bounds. That was not a wise targeting. Yeah, with the Steelers, I feel like you got to test the run game. You know, work those conditions with Worley, Hodge, and uh, Williams and see who can give you a little boost. So running away from the taps looks like basement with the tap advantage. So they could play uh, into this. It makes the, the running game a little more effective for the Steelers. So third down and six. Third down and six. Uh, most teams, it's an easy pickup. But for the Steelers, it's something to think about. I did want to make a comment on that run four. Again, Simon Fletcher, they have no offset eye playbook to or play to uh, mask that. So that could be a, a major liability for Basement Nemesis. 3 nothing your score here. Basement Nemesis over Disaster Master in a fourth down and one. And decision time. Yeah, he just went with the plays he feels more, most comfortable with, which sometimes works just fine. So we got a cold pass four. He's going to let it go to Eric Green. This would be better if it was picked off. It's not, and so that's a turnover. So Disaster Master now looking like he is in a spot where he could be getting points. He's in field goal range. I know Lloyd is a factor. Bobby Humphrey on the run three has a nice alley. Gets past the marker and out of bounds at the 26-yard line, first and 10 for Disaster Master. So I, I would want to run as much as possible with the Broncos, but here he's got everyone open in the passing game, and Elway showing the legs, picks yeah, up the he first. Looks, he looks like he's uh, he took a shot in the huddle, man. He's just going. Pass oh, two. yeah, he got a shot of something in there. He thought about going up top, but he did not want that automatic redirect, a little more conservative here. He knows he can get three points no matter what. Wants the sure thing. Elway running around. Gets the completion. Nice. Chris K touchdown. That was a perfect auto dive timed pass from Disaster Master. Shows the experience of his tech. Very career. good throw. Elway came through with an accurate pass and the passing speed. You know, those are, are plays with uh, with bad quarterbacks that can sometimes screw you, but when they, they hit it right, which he did right there, it's a touchdown. Don't tread well on me. Here comes Eric Green in the second best return team in the game the Steelers and taken down short of the 21st down in 10 good drone coverage by the Broncos weak side open run coming and now I think we're going to start to see what the basement is made of here nice die basement defense. nemesis had that tap advantage and did not get out of the way of the dive and that will hurt two yard loss he's going to be coming from the bottom hash mark now which means less running room one with four wide receivers. Mecklenburg in coverage. He's going to need to let this fly. Going to Eric Green. Gets the JJ. Huge completion. Gets the tap. So here he goes. Wow. This is going to be a <laughs> touchdown. Gets that bounce off. Oh, cannot get away. Oh, it, he should have scored there. He could not break away from that drone first and goal from the three. Uh, he took play. a bad angle after he out-tapped him. Looks like uh, we just saw that the basement has the taps in this one. Yeah, and a nice easy run for Tim Worley into the end zone. This time no dive, trying to come from the other direction to Disaster Masta. Um, and, and a touchdown here. So a basement nemesis uh, takes the lead in his first touchdown of the game. You know, he heaved one up there to Eric Green. I thought he had an early shot there at Merrill Hodge on the one wide receiver. He didn't take it, and then he just went with his gut and threw it up there to him, and that was the big play on that drive that led to the touchdown. First down and 10 here from the bottom hash mark for Disaster Master. Wants to answer here, 121 remaining second quarter. Man, and that Humphrey play is running right at Woodson, and the drones just took care of everyone. And uh, Woodson had a clear shot at him. Play calling has been pretty good here on defense from basement nemesis. You know, Disaster Mess has not had the ball that long. No, no, not really. Uh, he's he's keying in on those running plays, and uh, the, the passing 
has been hit or miss so far. First drive, not so good. Second drive, tuck. It's a weak side open run. And right now, when your baseman nemesis, if you take a bad angle, having Rod Woodson perform the way he's been, that's a great position to be in. Well, what can come off the edge? Here comes the punt. Richard Rand's punt. This time is ticking away. Hope we can get out of bounds. Here's a time to heave one. All right, so you got probably one play here, unless it's called. You can call one right after that. So from the process, yeah. it's called. He needs to take the sack. Oh, he didn't take it right away, so this is going to end the half. Yeah, that's going to lead to halftime. Good half by both players. Ooh, uh, didn't know halftime. what to. I'm going to have yeah, to make, a, make an one. announcement in chat uh, tell him the turn up to stop doing that. That's it. That's a that's auto loss. You keep skipping halftime. I don't even get to give it the analysis of that first half. I think you can give it. I don't know who. Usually, the player who's down is the one that's skipping. I'll give it during this running play, which looks like it might bust for a bit. No. But, uh, yeah, uh, I didn't know what to expect from Basement Nemesis, and it looks like he's definitely a Tecmo player, and he could tap. Uh, so we're in for a good second half. Yeah, if you have a good drone defense uh, and you can tap, you know, a team like the Steelers is a team that if you can be patient enough on offense, you can beat a lot of teams or, and, and players that are on paper better than you. And I would say Disaster Master and his reputation – would certainly put him in that category. You know, basement uh, nemesis, certainly nothing to uh, slouch at, but I think this is an ideal matchup for him. So now I, I, I had a possession um, up by three. Let's see if the Steelers can extend the lead. A touchdown would be huge in this situation with the defense and how he's been able to get in the head of disaster. He just tapped master. a 17. I'm telling you, man, these guys are flexing their thumbs. They want some sort of like <laughs> thumb like... crossfit. What are these guys doing? Well, when you're spending 17s. a lot of time indoors, who knows what you're doing with your free time? I just started playing with a tap meter, you know, these last few weeks, and uh, like I think I max out at like a twelve. You know, I just realized that somehow I lost your um, your your mug on the uh, the call. Oh yeah, I went down for a second. Don't worry about it. Here we go, Rick Strom. Must have had a camera situation at the homestead. I understand. No, the Discord, like, uh, it went down uh, for a second on my end. I had to re-maximize it. I don't know what happened on your end. But we're still live, to, and here's a big throw to Green, and it's we're, way we're off. Fourth and 21, so not much on that possession. Let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, correct this uh, camera malfunction. Are you able to turn it back on? Oh, yeah, let me uh, take a look here. You don't want to see your pretty face. I'm like, that is not what we had turned on. <laughs> Originally, hey, look at that. We're back. So, if you're trying to tell us that in chat, we weren't looking, but just notice that. Let's back to the action in this punt. So, back and forth, pretty much three and outs there. This is turning into a defensive battle. Pittsburgh hanging tough with Denver. Denver got to get Bobby Humphrey going again. David Little on defense and always just scrambling. And really now basement nemesis has to keep him out of the end zone. I think that if a touchdown gets scored here, that's going to be a huge negative because he hasn't shown the ability to consistently move the ball. But if he can keep it to a tie game, it's anyone's ball game. Vance Johnson over the top. Nice deflection. Ooh. Nice position by Rod Woodson. Great defense. Very risky, too. Woodson, he's a guy good JJ pick. Elway, no problem. I love oh, using the linebackers uh, against bad quarterbacks because they get you that extra guy in coverage. And with Lloyd and Little, you got a couple guys in 31 interceptions. So I like the strategy of uh, going with those guys here and there. Oh, he tries the lurch and it doesn't pay off. This is what can happen. We got to get on our soapbox about that. Time. Like lurching is not the end all. I think there's this major uh, misconception. Oh, we got the chop block. Humphrey might get loose if he if he gets past. This should be a touchdown if he maneuvers correctly. Zigging zang, fifteen, ten, five to the house. Touch call. Excuse me, touchdown. House call. Touchdown, four. Bobby Humphrey. There he and is. That's what we were waiting for. He's the game breaker. Zigging in this game. zagging. Boom. 
Yeah, you know, I, I do think there is a disconnect with the, the lurching. Uh, I, I asked Rico about, about it in the Discord because I know he's one of the guys who just, like, refuses to play that way and gets mad about it. I'm like, why don't you like it? He's like, well, when I was 10, some guy lurched every play and I lost and it sucked. And I'm like, <laughs> it's funny that he just remember he has that memory and he's like, I never want to play that way again, basically. Your pro shouldn't be beaten up on the on the noobs that way, uh, but it's it, it's certainly a valid thing. It's another conversation for another day. But I'll say this: uh, as this run comes out, uh, disaster master uh, looking good here. Although basement nemesis has been playing uh, playing him the entire game, and now he finds himself down by four with four thirty six remaining in the fourth. There's ways around it, and you just have to make the adjustment. Just one more thing to think about. Well, yeah, typically in this matchup, you know, you said that uh, Baseman Nevesis has been outplaying him, and he's looked good on the defensive end, but the Broncos in this matchup are all about when they could bust that big playoff with Humphrey, and, uh, you know, he the Disaster Master was able to do it on that last series. Third down and seven here, huge third down for Baseman Nemesis. He's at the bottom hash marks so the run plays don't look good, and it's called anyway. So now you're in a situation where you could punt it here. You don't want to, but fourth down and twelve with the Steelers. I think you got to kick it here. I would. I would have kicked it. Yeah, definitely. But less time off the clock, I guess. We'll see what happens here. Ooh, early, early. Oh, He's got the GG. He got well, what do we know, right? First down, basement nemesis. It looked like he got Disaster Master to slow down a little bit with his defender, and then Strum drops another one in perfectly on target to Green for the JJ. Well, he wanted the JJ curl did not happen for him. That's the the danger. These offenses don't have a lot of timing synergy. No, that he's lucky for that not to be a pick. So Simon Fletcher on defense, it's called. Pass four. Tries to go to Green again. Goes to the well again. Does not get burned. Third down and ten. Yeah, those can be aggravating on the defense, Van. You're like, they got this horrible quarterback. Keep throwing in coverage. And no pick again. So, miracle and time. Fourth down and ten. Basemus and Nevesis has made up his mind. He's going for it on fourth down no matter what at this point. And Strom bail him out again. Oh, goes with the arrow trick. Doesn't work. So, turnover on downs, 224. The game is still not over. No, definitely not. The Steelers, uh, they can force a turnover quick. So, he's just got to try to bait them into something. We'll see if he could do it. He's got tons of defenders to go with. Oh, Clarence K. So, I think he's taking a chance a little too soon there. Trying to rush in on a shotgun play. Yeah, and that really comes down to like what what defensive play call did you have where you felt comfortable just going in on a shotgun play? They called run one here. That's what he needs more of. He could force a fumble that way. In fact, in this situation, I won't be surprised if Strom, um, excuse me, Kubiak made the uh, the lineup just for the JJ possibility. You can throw him away a little safer, but Ooh, oh, oh, he with the what a jumping jackass out of bounds inside the five first and goal. Elway not the best at getting his receivers to jump and catch the ball, but does it there, and it was close. So the explosive play is really coming in on this drive, the one thing you didn't want. Uh, if you can find a way to hold him to a field goal, the problem is there's two more plays. The time's ticking away. You're running out of time. Yeah, and if he punches it in here, it's over for sure. Oh, oh nice play. play. Huge. huge call. He's counting his seconds. We'll see what uh, the Broncos do here. Cardinal Lake on defense for basement nemesis. Desperately trying to keep him out of the end zone. He does. No timeouts left. Must not have any. So fourth and one. The it's a goal. weird situation to be in. I, I agree. Um, I, I don't know if I would kick the field goal. I think I would just go for it and we'll see what happens. And he makes it makes it a seven point game. 
Uh, let's see how much time is on the clock. Probably 25 techno seconds. He might have enough time to get out of bounds and throw one up. Well, his best chance might be on a return here. I mean, he's got the Steelers. Okay, so, so he likes to go the other route. He doesn't have any speed on the outside, so I think I would have taken my chances on the return. Yeah. And there's your sack. And you're right about that. Game over. He should... I mean, sometimes you don't think about the return game, but yeah, with the Steelers, you got to think about that, and the game is over. Well played game by both players. Broncos get the win in Disaster Master, 17-10 over the basement and the Steelers. Definitely a character win for Disaster Master, who was trailing most of that game and had to had to go down deep and make some big plays. And we saw Basement Nemesis make some, some clutch plays of his own, but just couldn't convert um, that second touchdown at the end really uh, closed it out for Disaster Master. So a uh, great game by both these players. Thanks, Tom, for calling it with me. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have another game for you soon. We're in the tub. Before we begin, Chris Griffin has an announcement for the cool kids. Yeah, hey guys. The meeting of the Cool Kids Club will be at 315, leaning up against Tim Breckner's SUV in the parking lot. Would you do me? I'd do me. I'd do me so hard. Chris, what's that? Did you sit on something? <laughs> and we are back. It's Tecmo time. Fourth game here in week one. Goodbye, horses. I'm welcoming into the booth. Doe Riddler, how you doing? I'm doing great, Troy. Ready to call some games. This is fan-freaking-tastic. Great to have you back. Doe Riddler's been with us locally and on the road, so to speak. Welcome back to the color booth where you belong, my friend. Got a game between Eifer Souked 80 and Swamp PC1, and if I slaughtered either one of those names, I apologize. It's going to happen multiple times throughout this broadcast. Goodbye, horses, uh, if you're just coming into the, the broadcast now. Uh, this is a theme featuring the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. All games will feature um, one of those two teams, uh, depending on the matchup that was selected. And the modifier is I'd lurch me, I'd lurch me hard. Normally lurching from the defensive line position is prohibited. This week it is permitted. That is our modifier this week. Let's take a look at the teams that were selected. And Eifert, excuse me, Eifert Such 80 is the Denver Broncos. Swamp PC1 is the Dallas Cowboys. Why don't you break it down, Riddler? By the way, Riddler down well, there. Looking good on the camera. Okay. All right. The only thing I really know about these guys, like Eifert, uh, I know he's a pretty good player. He uses a keyboard to uh, play the game. And then I have Swamp. He's kind of an old school guy uh, that l relies a lot on timing routes. Um, as far as this matchup goes, this is I thought out of the matchups, this was the matchup with the the best running backs. Both sides have uh, a 56 and a 63 running back, so good stuff here. I got to ask, was R two D two the sideline reporter there? Uh, it's a cell phone ringtone. Yes. Sorry yes. about that. We we were ten seconds in and we had a welcome to the back to the broadcast. Uh, top hash marks single back formation. Manny Hedrick's on defense pass. Hey, what is your call? Let's start over. No, we're fine. There was a we we had kids and baby shark going on the last broadcast, so you are all good. Uh, honestly, if if uh, the missus yells at you, that'll be like I think Chad will just blow up. They'll love it. All right, back to pass one again. This time he gets Clarence K first down to more 30 31 out of bounds and a first down. I really like that pass two play as a, a safe play when you have a quarterback that doesn't have high PC, so they can't step in front of the hot route at the top against the run and shoot one. Also, really good job. He used Clarence K there as running back two for the quick hitter to the bottom. Another burner. So it looks like. Eifer is a fan of these burn routes early and often. Mark Jackson with the completion and a huge gain there all the way to the 34-yard line. First down for Eifer. And it looks like uh, Swamp is sitting on uh, a run play. I know he's not much of a tapper, Ooh. so that might be affecting his play call a little bit. Dangerous tap to the hot route there. It was covered well. And another burn route to Jackson. 
he's getting that right inside the, the outside bubble of the coverage, so he's letting that go real quick, and I don't think you'd be able to do that with Kubiak in this situation. No, it's Elway's arm strength that's getting that in there. Another perfect lead pass. He was hoping for the dive there. Second down and 10 here, offset eye, top hash mark. Mandy Hendricks on defense, run fours the call. Humphrey gets through there, gets through the mess. Third down of five. That's the best way you can defend this play with uh, Dallas. They don't have much at the Here's linebacker Humphrey. core. Finish off with a drum and up before first down, first and goal from the five. At this point, you got to just be smart, I think, if you're right for no risky throws. Pass one's your call. Elway getting him on the ground cross. Field advance. Johnson nice. touchdown. Eifer. Yeah, there were swap was dead man sitting there. He had the guy on the bottom wide open. He had the quarterback run. Everybody was open. He was sitting on run again. And uh, that's one of the things that Elway's legs, when you get within five yards, are dangerous because he can pick those first downs. 7-0. Eifer over Swamp PC1. We'll see how he responds with his Dallas Cowboys. Are they dem boys or them duds? Here comes a Walt, right from the goal line. Five, ten, and taken down at the 13, first and ten. Okay, we got the uh, the split back run two there. That uh, does eat up the linebacker four. Dennis Smith on defense misses the dive. Emmett Smith is loose, 30, 35. Dances backwards. And a huge first down, not sure what he was trying to do there, but great gain by Swamp PC1 with Emmett Smith and his 56 maximum speed. Here's a run, there's the bounce. It's a good, Breaks it's a tackle. good way to attack it. It is dangerous, though. Fumble. Oh, we got the big fumble. And uh, it's out of bounds. It. Not sure why he was running directly into the defenders as opposed to around them, but uh, another first. Well, me, he was second on the trying to free up some drones for himself there um, so you don't get hit like that from behind. Here you go. I'm kind of surprised he's not using Atwater, though, uh, on that play. I know he only used 31 touchdown. interception. But uh, with the Cowboys passing game, uh, Aikman's not going to tear you up, and it gives you a better angle at that play. Or you could even take Mecklenburg. Swamp PC with an early score here, and his offenses are looking like they're on fire. 7-7. Seven, seven. Good talking, answer there. Yep. I was talking about the bump from Emmett was just running into the defensive drones instead of away from them uh, previously. Oh. Not, But I know what you meant. So Ken Willis will kick this off. Not sure what's uh, going on in the background, if they're just talking trash that happens sometimes in chat. Maybe someday we'll find a way to capture that information. Melvin Braddon will return this one as the first quarter is going to expire out of the end zone. 44 maximum speed, excuse me, running speed. And taken down past the 10. Welcome to the second quarter. 7-7. Seven, seven. Eifer and Swamp PC1. What did you see so far in that first period? Uh, both sides had, you know, moved right down the field. A little bit of different uh, ways it happened. But right now they're just kind of figuring each other out, I think. From the top, excuse me, the top hash mark. And, uh, pass one. He's been sitting on this a lot. And Clarence K comes back, but he does get the completion of fumble. Oh. Bouncing around. And is recovered by Swamp PC1. Yeah, he was sitting on run again. A lot of guys open. That is the one thing that you guys can do if you're a non-tapper is just continue to let them have some yards, but keep them in bounds because turnovers lose games. Kelvin Martin. Oh, the oh big, big play. Threw points away. There's Dude, my boy Atwater that I was talking about. A legend once he smacked Okoye. Oh. And here comes Humphrey. Up the middle Bobby, and out of the Bobby. edge. That's my boy, Bobby. The Humpty Dance is the chance. Do the hump. Get out of bounds. Oh, no. Fumble it. Oh, 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 you fumble it. Out of bounds. Oh. First we down have had, for Eifert. We have had four fumbles, but only one have been recovered in this game. Unbelievable. Jack Del Rio. My no defense. choice here on defense. Crossfield. Defense. Johnson touchdown. Eifert. Such daddy. And we got ourselves a, a soon-to-be 14-7 game. Yeah, Jack Del Rio, I know that's a good position for stopping that potential run there, but he's just too slow. You could have took a watch to at DB4 and gotten the same result with actually have some speed and interception. So I think that was just a an error in judgment by Swamp. You know, as I just took a Sorry. drink, by the way, this is just water. I realized that we, we did not do our traditional 
beer cracking. Maybe it's too early in the evening. I don't know. It's, 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 it's just it like is. a daylight it's, behind me. This is the first game of, of Colin. We got to get a good Kevin Molnar game in there to want to have to you know, crack up beer. We did one beer. already. We did a Kim Molnar. We'll have to get, get him next oh, week. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, we had another um, um, individual that wanted to make fun of Kim Molnar. So, uh, anyway, Kim Molnar sucks, by the way. Uh, back to this game. Shotgun formation. Babe Loffenberg makes an appearance in the lineup. Oh, he's got a shot here. He's got against Brooks. Take the shot against Novacek to Novacek here. No damage, really, except for your player two. Oh, over oh there it is. The player two. Turnover City. Atwater comes through again. You know, I, I know I'm picking on you, Swamp, but you, you know going cross field, I mean, he's from the middle, but throwing an angle at player two is just dangerous. They they overthrow too often that you got to throw straight on, I feel like. Oops, sorry about that, folks. I thought the the action would continue there. As soon as your font was a little too slow, or low, rather. Here comes Humphrey, huge play. Bobby's taking over right now. And again, taking the strange guys. He took Eugene Lockhart, and he's like their fourth best defender. He, I don't know. I just think the DB4 covers that play just as well. Well, he's just moving the ball at will with Humphrey right now. His eye for... Hendricks across the formation. Pass two is the call. He's burned a couple times. This is dangerous. Yeah. The only downside, you know, is the Cowboys don't have many guys that have high interception numbers. But that doesn't stop from interceptions from happening. It just makes some lower possibilities. Mark Jackson with another burn reception. First down in 10. He's just lasering it in there. Yeah. it's He's making a first read, and if it's there, he's firing. As far as the call, he's letting it go. He has the redirect. This has a chance. Oh, no, it does gets gobbled up double coverage. Second down and 10. Running out of time here in the first half. Oh, third down that and could seven. have been danger right there. It's completed, but you almost he, he had him up top. That's where he wanted to go with the ball. I think he probably mistapped. All right, run for is the call. Bounces around. Gave up on a low soon. It's bouncing around. Oh, fumble. fumble. Swamp PC1. Get out of bounds. Oh, he did not get a chance right. to heave one, and now we're into the uh, halftime 14-7, and they skipped halftime. Oh, oh my skipped. gosh. I, I, I feel like I'm being critical to both sides. About this. But Eifert could have had a two-score lead there. I wouldn't have called a run up the middle just because you are probably getting tackled in bounds somewhere either on the sideline or in the middle. Just unnecessary risks, I feel like, in this game by both sides, but uh, we'll see what happens here. I mean, they're the ones playing, though. So maybe they're just being friendly here to let the uh, time tick away here, maybe accidental bottom press. So maybe we'll give you a little bit of grace. Uh, that's kind of the function of not skipping a half time so we can talk about the game that happened. But it looks like, you know, Eifer uh, has been in, you know, he's had the ball most of the game. Swam had that one score, uh, and he's been he through that, that pick right away after getting the turnover, and then he's been on defense the rest of the game. So now his chance to uh, reciprocate two interceptions on his end. There's been some fumbles the other way. What a crazy game so far. Let's see how it, she finishes out here in the second half. I I think the play calling uh, on defense has been the thing that stuck out to me. I can see that PC is calling a lot of run plays, which is allowing Eifer to do quick routes with Elway versus when Swamps had the ball, he's had to – I feel like struggled to find his yards a lot more at this point. So I'd say the first half, despite, I mean, in including the seven point lead, has also kind of favored Eifer in the gameplay so far. Emmett Smith on the run three. We've seen this a few times. This run to the bottom. Here we go. Is another huge game. Boy, the running attack. Got to get out of bounds there. Yeah, we saw them put on the ground before. I think you get out of There's two rules, uh, folks. Um, don't have relations nine months prior to your favorite tournament. And get out of bounds. <laughs> oh, there you go. Another run. Huge run to the 40, but to the bottom. Those run threes and that run one are really doing good work here for Swamp PC1. Uh, we'll see if they'll start getting taken away or not. Here's run one. And Smith is loose again. So now there I'd say, in, now get out. There's, there's the risk versus the reward. Like, cut back up there right at the end was the bad idea. Like, if you only have one d drone to beat or one person or just the man defender, it's worth the risk. But if they got a cavalcade of guys, 
it's just not worth the risk because you're not going to go anywhere. You went full ultimate weapon there with the cavalcade reference. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. He'll hey. be in the. the uh, Occasionally, the a teacher too. vocab comes out. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh. Nice run oh. there. Gets oh, the man. Thing and the touchdown. Emmett lowering those huge shoulder pads that he used to wear. You know, I'm, I wish they were, were those giant pads. You know, go back to those clunky days with the big uh, oversized grills. Yeah. 14 14, your score, Swamp PC1. Making it interesting here. Let's see if Melvin Bratton and, and company can do something here. Uh, I just I got the feeling the way Eifert's been playing with all of these quick burners, that one of these is going to come back and eventually get picked off, even though the secondary is not so hot. Because he has been putting them into tight windows. That That's the one thing that I'll have to definitely agree with. I just don't like him using these slow linebackers, though. It's just against Elway, I just think you're setting him up to get a ton of yards. I know he's trying to get more defenders out there to cover. You know, oh, there's, there's what you're talking about. Positionally, if you want more defenders, either take Jones or take one of the, the two safeties. That That's going to be, you know, let, let Hendricks do his thing. Anyway, uh, first down and 10. You know, if you, if you take the top safety, that gives you a pretty good positional advantage against the, the rest of the defenders. Yeah, so here Ethan comes Humphrey. Horton, Ethan Horton up top there. Because you got Manny Hendricks at one, hold at DB2. Horton at three, and then Washington at DB4. So underneath the Melvin Brad, um, excuse me, Brad in the middle of the field, taken down, he does get a first down, 33 seconds remaining. Bottom hash mark. Single Personally, I think I'd be sitting on some of the past two and using Washington at DB4 to cover up all the rest of the, the stuff there. Um, even against the run play, you can take on the wide receiver and force him to cut it in the middle of the field and potentially get a turnover that way. Oh, it's going to Johnson. He's got, got him. Touchdown, Eifer. Yeah, it's like he, he went to do the little circle spin and kind of lost his speed there. And Elway's passing speed, burn him. Players, check your dead zone settings on your controller. Recommended between 15 and 25. I think you had me at 16 when we set up. 16 is the magic number if you have a real NES. That's my, at least my opinion. Gotcha. So Awalt closes out the third quarter. 21-14 Eifer over Swamp PC1. Emmett Smith is in bad. Uh, looks like Alonzo Highsmith is in good. Alexander Wright is in good. Not sure if he's going to make it. Maybe we'll make the field. It's always tempting to go to the bench when you have some of these players that go into good and excellent and see can they be a positive influence on your, on your lineup. Yeah. And here we go. Time will be interesting how this fourth quarter goes as well because Eifer has been able to move the ball at will. So we'll see how quickly Swamp scores here. But that he has to focus on scoring. Back to this run one. This has been very successful. Goes the other direction. And uh, not quite as many yards as he has before. I, I think if he just trusted his blockers, that would have worked better. But uh, here we go, second down and three. Still not, it's not a good defender for that play because th if he ran this one, he gets eight up. And against that one, he, against the run one, which he ran the previous play, you can reverse it. So, again, I would keep telling you, Atwater is the way to go on that play. Fourth down and three. This is huge for Swamp PC1. Needs to convert. Has shown no ability to stop Eifer. So in the, a punt in this situation is, is a not an optimal proposition. You need to convert here. I'm not a fan of this uh, pass four scenario either. It's going with the, probably with the curls. Oh, nope, he's letting deep. it fly. Wow. All right, here we go. Going to Noah check all the way across the field. This won't make it to the end zone. And it is dropped with a double coverage. First down and 10 turnover and down. So I uh, need a miracle here if you're Swamp PC1. Yeah, that pass four, the one sneaky thing you can do is let everybody go deep and then throw it to the guy that stays short. Um, but he was just throwing a Hail Mary there. With three yards to go, I just – I like to use my quarterback as an option to run. I just – I don't know. I thought it was a force. Huge run there by Eifer, but why he didn't get out of bounds is still beyond me. First and goal from the five, offset eye formation, top hash mark. 
Hendricks across the formation, run one's the call. Can he get there? Get out of bounds. Yeah, just just, just take playing with fire. Just any even a field goal wins this game. As player two, the onside opportunity is is shockingly difficult. Get out of bounds. Takes it in the middle. Nope. And there in there, fumbles are increased uh percentage wise there on a called play. Oh, we moving around cross field, and this time it is dropped. It oh, was a safe dropped. throw, though. Take your field goal and take your victory. Let's it go. And the technicality of the game is not over, but this is a very difficult mountain to, to uh, climb here for Swamp PC1. Yeah, as long as Eifer is smart, even if he, he lets him score. So first of all, you got to be calling all the deep plays, make him use clock. You know, or at least try to take out at least one of the deep plays. Who cares if he runs it for 20 yards? And then on the other side, if Eifert does get the ball, he just have to be smart because even a punt will run out 30-some seconds. Simon Fletcher rushing in here, and now a, this actually gives him an the opportunity. Wrong, yeah, exactly. Make him earn every play here. And does not get the dive, so he, he, he gets out of there unscathed, but... What you're really hoping for, at the very least, if you get in tackle, you try to kick that field goal, and then you have to kick the ball away. Um, See that? One cross yeah. field to Kevin Martin. And uh, incomplete. I first get lucky that both deep guys are being covered every time. If one of them are open, Swamp's going to be to the 50-yard line at least. This one's called right. Is uh, Oh, it's got a covered catch. So the first on conversion, one minute remaining here, 105. No damage done. And now we actually have uh, Novacek running free, but it is overthrown. Aikman unable to deliver. Here comes Lachenberg. Not sure what the change is, if he knew what the condition was with him, but... Uh... Oh, we get a little side commentating in the background. Here comes uh, Lachenberg. All these cross-angle... Throws aren't as accurate He's either. He's got him in the end zone here. But he got him that time. Well, we'll Shut up, Riddler. Yeah. Shut up. We'll probably <laughs> see a, uh, an onside kick coming here. I just don't think you can uh, get a fumble and do anything with it on the other end. So an onside yeah. kick is is less than a 1% chance uh, to get. You could try the quarter bar thing where he can't get out of bounds and hope for a fumble. but. And it is picked up immediately by Elway. So no fumble chance here. Swan so PC uh, had a good effort here, but Eifer takes the win. 24-21, your score, your thoughts on this one. You know, I know the score is only a three-point game there, but I, I felt like Eifer had control of most of that game. But, you know, I know Swamp's a veteran, so he'll he'll bounce back. So Eifert with the win, a very unique style of play. I don't think I've really seen someone use the Broncos quite that way. Uh, with um, that kind of just a, a quick pass game underneath uh, the coverage every time. And that may have been just a, the product of Swamp PC call and run, like you mentioned. But I've heard what the win over I've seen Swamp... uh, Randy Fairfield likes to use that kind of quick hitter like that as well. Randy Fairfield, is, is, is yeah. that how he goes in public, or is that is actually his, uh, his in-game name? Uh, it's like F Fair, F-A-I-R-F, I think, or something, Rain, I don't know. I know it when I see it, but it, be, it begins with fair. Well, he's not in this tournament, but maybe we'll see him in the future. But 24-21, okay. your score. For Deriddler, this is Trojan. Stay with us. We'll have another game for you soon. And we're back. Trojan with Deriddler. Got another game here for you. Nelson 79 and Darth Rockman, a couple tappers, doing battle here in week one. Goodbye Horses is the matchup. All matchups featuring Broncos or Colts. And that's a slew of different teams. Set matchups were created. And this is the matchup that was chosen. Atlanta Falcons, Denver Broncos, and I'm here, and my friend Derailer is down there. Way up high to the folks. Yo, yo, yo. New this year, we got cams for most of the time, uh, family-friendly cams. Might see some sideline reporting from time to time uh, in either one of our <laughs> households, as well as the other column, color commentators you might see throughout uh, these broadcasts. Uh, we welcome it. We love it. Uh, Tecmo is a family affair. So, Nelson 79, Darth Rockman, both two guys that you wear your thumbs uh, if you try to out-tap them. Uh, but let's talk about the matchup itself, uh, Atlanta and Denver, breaking down for us. Yeah, this is one that I don't play that often, uh, but it's kind of one of those that both teams can exploit the defenses. 
Denver's running game, uh, Atlanta really only has one really good defender. That's Dion. Uh, so he'll be chasing down uh, Bobby Humphrey for Denver quite a bit. Uh, and if he tar- starts taking run, he can run with Elway. On the other hand, Atlanta's receivers will be able to eat up Denver's uh, DB1 at the top. So we'll see how it plays out. Run game versus JJ's here. Don't tread well on me as Darth Rockman kicks off to this one. Bad Moon Rising will take the kickoff for Nelson Cedric 9 out of the end zone 5 to the 10. I'd expect Nelson to, to win the tap slightly. I mean, both are tappers, but Nelson's uh, really up there when it comes to tapping. But we'll see if it's enough of a difference to, to come into play here. These are two guys that um, I've out-tapped, but... I can't do it consistently, and it, it takes a lot out of you. First and 10 here for Nelson, 79. Out of that pro set, again, uh, the, I lurched me hard. Uh, that is the modifier this week. Sweep to the bottom, Rozier. I believe he's a Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, eight yards on first down, second and two from the bottom. Hash mark now the single back formation. Out of Nebraska, correct? Uh, seems right. And uh, QB keeper here. And he gets the first down, Nelson, 79, two plays, and a first down, first and 10 from inside the 20, or just at the 20, excuse me. And going back and be here. So here's the, here's the situation. 19 interception, let it fly. Mad Moon. And he's got him yep. diving. And there's the CC. You know, as we predicted at the beginning here, you know, uh, up top, against Denver. Obviously, the drone wasn't there, but when he has Mecklenburg or Fletcher, two of Denver's faster guys, they only have 19 interception. And with Andre Risen, uh, you know, and his high reception numbers, that's going to be an issue. 7 nothing here. Nelson 79 strikes early, and Darth Rockman out of his end zone with Melvin Bratton. Gets the 10. A dive is missed, and he has a little bit of running room. Nice return here so far. Oh, yeah, nice 30 one. 30 and taken down to the 29, first and 10 for Darth Rockman. He'll be at the top hash mark. Starting here with the pro set, Elway under center. And Humphrey with a nice running lane. Here he goes, zigging, zagging. Out in front of the drones. He could score Uh-oh. here. Looks like Nelson got knocked down. We got the Humpty Dance again. The Humpty Dance is the chance to do the hump. Uh-uh, score a touchdown. Oh, he got, he's got the figure out. I bet you. That's six for Darth Rock, man. Extra point and coming. You know, and with us having the, the Lurch Me modifier, you're not seeing the run up the middle uh, on run two, but uh, neither side has a very good middle linebacker, so it kind of works out for him in this matchup. Well, that didn't take long two scores in about half of the quarter, so here comes Ryzen, gets gobbled up. Breaks free. There's a mob of players taken down at the 15, first and 10 for Nelson. 79, 128, technical time here in the first. So this is kind of what I've been expecting out of this matchup. I think it's going to be hard for either side to get defensive stops. Braxton across Interesting the choice there. Don't break my defender. heart. Second down and seven. Not a whole lot there, just across the formation, keeping it simple. And it looks like we've got Collins underneath, but he goes to Haynes instead. And a tap and a takedown, first down and 10 for Nelson. 79 takes a safe completion underneath. Pass four is the call. Maybe going back and be here. Broussard, stationary, has him just in time past the 50 into Denver territory. First down, Nelson. 79. Good little drive so far here. Run three is a call. Dennis Smith on defense for Darth Rockman. Pops Corns, a defender. Here's a tap off. Well, 18 to 9. What happened? It's like Darth Rockman doesn't even want to try to tap right now. And a couple good conditions here, but it looks like Ryzen's in bad. Keith Jones is in bad. Rosier in good. That'll help, and so will the Miller being in good. Yeah. Uh, Ryzen being in bad, that hurts a little bit, but uh, with Rozier being in good, it kind of offsets that a little bit. Obviously, you can still stretch the field with both. Uh, and Collins, yeah. Pro set formation from the bottom. Hash mark for Nelson, 79. Uh, here's your sweep to the bottom. All right. 
Did not like that choice of defender there at all. Cavalcade of defenders stealing the line from the ultimate weapon first down. So we've seen that play work very well for both players so far. This is pass three, pro set, and this time it's covered and complete. I thought that was kind of a forced deal there. Yeah, and, you know, again, I know it's only one click there, but with Rising being in bad, it's not as likely for a CC. Steve Broussard, who actually is in good, nice reverse of his field there, stays in bounds. They're down to four pretty manageable here every plays on the table. Especially with Greg Davis as a kicker here, too. This is a big down. Run three, gets near the marker. Nice Does. juke and out of bounds with the Rozier again. That rushing power, a little bit increased. He can change directions faster, first and ten. Pass four is the call, and breaks his fingers as he throws the ball full speed, <laughs> three inches from his body. Second Screenplay. Screenplay. You can hear the knuckles crack from here. <laughs> All right, running across the formation. Smith should be here. Oh, oh nice juke. juke. And again, Darth Rockman, I think he's, depending on the drone defender, is not looking to stretch his tap ability here. I think he'll dig down when he has to have it, maybe. Here's the run. Tries to go for that lurch and runs away. And here comes Rozier into the end zone, reversing his field. Touchdown, Nelson, 79. Yeah, I'm not sure the technique that Rockman does for his tapping. Um, the last uh, week or so, I've kind of got the slide tap down. But it kind of hurts my shoulder every once in a while if I play a bunch of games in a row. So, may so may maybe he's a slide tapper and it, it he's feeling discomfort. Not all of us have the bionic thumb that you have over there. Uh, I can only use it for so much. So 14-7, your score That's here. That's what the wife said. Hey, old. <laughs> out to the 12 and out of bounds. So Darth Rockman with a chance to answer. He gets a good quarterback as well. And uh, otherwise pretty uneventful in the lineup for Denver. Yeah, that's one of the downsides for Denver. They don't really have much option on their bench. I mean, you're pretty much stuck with the guys you got. All right, so here is pass two. Elway moving around. Baiting him. Johnson has got, oh, could not make the completion. He was open. Player two, bug engaging, I guess. And you got Elway. Underneath the Clarence K that's redirected, but still inbounds in a first down. So first down and 10 for Darth Rockman here from the 30 little operating room here as time is starting to whittle away inside of two minutes of Tecmo time. And a good run up to the top, run one for a first down for Bobby Humphrey. Yeah, it chose not to engage the wide receiver to allow the reverse. Deflected pass there on a cold play, and he'll live another day second down and 10. Here's pass one again. He had the completion to Clarence K the last time. He had success with this, and now he's got over oh, the got top. Him. Surprised we didn't get a jump there from Sanders, but first down and 10 from Darth Rockman. Who has I think he was goals. a little high, and he was off the passing line, I think. And here's run three. And here comes Nelson sitting on across the formation. There's a tap off. Tap oh, off. he wins a tap. So oh, 17-15. Killing the clock and getting the touchdown. So Darth Rockman playing possum there and getting it done. So Bobby Humphrey to the house. So I was wrong. Rockman is baiting him for that tap off. Don't tread well on me. We've got a tie game, 14-14. The clock, he might get one shot here. going to be close. Yeah, he should be able to get out. Yeah, okay. Got it pretty easily, actually. And wondering if a Hugh Millen sighting might not be uh should have a slower delivery based on the conditions. Simon Fletcher's going to rush He's in here. He's Fletcher, yep. And here we go over the top. He gets him, but he dives, and so Ryzen is down. Yeah. I don't think he would have scored um, based on what was no. coming after him there, but 14-14, welcome to halftime. What did you see in that half? You know, it was pretty much what we thought. Both offenses moving the ball. Defense is going to be very difficult. They're just, they're just not set up to stop each other's strengths. So it, this could be a possession game at this point. 
All right, here comes Melvin Bratton out of his end zone. Darth Rockman with the tie game and has now the position, excuse me, the possession advantage. Elway's still in good. Looks like Bratton's in good. Minimal impact, though, um, out of the conditions. Like we were talking about, their, their backups just don't really offer you much flexibility to your lineup. Yeah, typically they got to go into good or excellent to have a shot to maybe take Clarence K out. All right, here we got the sweep to the top with Elway, run four. Gets the popcorn, but the drone to support is there, second and seven. And it, with so, Elway and good, that's a good play. Yeah, it runs right at Dion, but you are probably going to be risking being tackled in bounds on that play. And third down here, decision time, how you want to attack this third and one. I'm, I'm going to assume a situation like this, they're going to go for fourth down every time. It is called. But he, oh, it looks like he Ooh. had the, the path to the first down, yeah. but he went out of bounds just a little bit too early. Oh, he ran the wrong direction. Here he goes, past the marker. He's got it first down, Darth Rockman. There was a, a moment of panic, and he settled down yeah. and got the first. <laughs> That's where Atlanta's drones are just not good enough of help there. If there was any pressure coming from them, he might have been able to get that stop. There's run one attacking Sanders again. Here's a tap off, and this time Darth Rockman wants none of it. Leaving it in the tank as you were. Needs Mike Gann to start uh, stepping up his game down there at DB or DL3. Good Goes underneath play. to Mark Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. And gets a completion. Just short of the 50 here from the 44 yard line of Denver. Pass one is the call. And really good coverage here. The drones are coming in. And you just got to eat this one. Second and 10. He could have tried to force one there, but you've had your way offensively, so don't risk it. Nice play there. Even taps there, so Nelson gets the tackle. And he had the drone help, too. Did not get that comeback blocker, which is probably not how you wanted that to happen, but going to Clarence K across the field and the deflection. So nice defense by Nelson, 79. Yeah, kind perfect of no position. Man's land here. Oh, boy. Here we go. What would you do here? I think I'd have to probably go for it. I don't know. Nine's a lot of yards, though. The problem is you don't have the JJ factor with uh, Elway. It's really hard to trust. Um, so you're basically going to sit on pass. I, I think you almost have to call run and win a tap. But is, where is he at? He's at the bottom hash mark, I think. Oh, boy. Dion coming in fast. He's going to punt it in the end zone here, and that's a mistake. you got to keep that punt in bonds. It gives you at least a chance for a turnover. That's tough in that situation with, with Dion flying in. He didn't have a chance to let it reset again. So we'll see. Now Darth Rockman has to play defense if he can keep Nelson 79 from scoring. Thanks, John. All right, from see the top hash marks. Sorry. Back to back stops is what's going to be necessary. That's a one way to do it. Called plays. Second and 11. This time from the bottom hash mark, the shotgun formation. And probably going to see another back and B situation here. Going to test Turn Ryzen. Ahead. And it is deflected. So I, I know it's space. rising up top there, but he had no drone at the tight end position down on the bottom. It had been the man trying to find him coming from one side of the field. Dive! Collins, overthrow. That was a mistake, and it is picked off. And tight roping it, and welcome to the fourth quarter. 14-14, Darth Rockman here with a chance to take the lead already in scoring position with the field goal. So back-to-back -back stops, huge play there by Rockman forcing the turnover. And here we go, checking conditions. Clarence K went from bad to good condition in this game. And here we go, first and 10 for Darth Rockman. Waiting for that play call from Nelson, 79. 
Probably had a silent report of his own getting his attention. Run one's a call. Nice dive. Oh, Got to be wow. a little more patient there. Let that drone do the work. Okay. Not taking anything away from Nelson 79 there. Very good play. Here comes Elway. Pass two is the call. And we haven't seen him test really that wide receiver one throw. It's been there. I know it's been close, but with him in good condition, that pass is going to get there in a hurry. He's got the burner, oh. but he overthrows him. Fourth and eight, so probably a field goal attempt incoming. Especially with Treadwell, you've got to feel really good about that. Oh, uh, he's scared he can't stop him twice in a row, I guess. I, I you got to take the points. I agree. This is going to be huge. Pass one's the call. Going to Johnson, and he's covered, and that's a turnover on downs. Uh, I, I got to give that maybe a, a one of four chance of success. That's just not a uh, uh, a situational good. If it's two, three yards, then you've got all of the running plays at your disposal. Yeah, I think five or less I might have considered it. But like you said, without really being able to throw a J.J., just oh, not. he baits him, does oh. not pay the price, though. So we'll see now if Darth Rockman honors the underneath throw here by sticking up top. And a called run three, so taking away this play a lot is Darth Rockman. Third and 12. And here we go He's again. got a shot one on one with the tight end if he wants to take it. Going back to Ryzen. See if Ryzen does Ryzen things. Oh, and he catches a main uh, stride touchdown even when he's covered. Another CC. It's Bad Moon Ryzen. 20 to 14 is your score. Puke. <laughs> well, it's as good as a punt, right? 21 uh, 14 your score. Plenty of time here for Darth Rockman to respond. But he played that pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like Levi's decision on that, but hey, he got paid off. See how Ben can respond here. Darth Rockman from his bottom. Hash mark single back formation. Here's the run. And a dive oh, no. by the drone takes him down here. The ball's bouncing around. It's picked up by the Broncos. Here comes Mark Jackson. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Jamon. And it's a first down for Darth Rockman. So sometimes you can, Tecmo Luck can swing both ways. Really liking this pass one today is Darth Rockman throws it Man. and tried to get that angle throw in there. Not a bad idea, but it is not on target. Going cross to the tight end, Clarence K has it. Out of bounds at the 49, nice, first down. Nice cycling there, I thought. There is another pass one. Elway dodging drones. Making a lane for himself. Here he comes out of bounds after a nine-yard gain, just short of the marker. And if you're uh if you're Nelson, you're you're okay with that. And they're down now to down to 40 seconds left in the game here. He needs a touchdown. Gotta go to K. And the problem is they have no arc on that ball. You have to hit it from an angle. Yep, Scott Case coming up big. 18 seconds now. Does he put in Kubiak? Well, I think you got to do is you got to put Humphrey to get that maximum speed in the third re receiver position. That at least gives you a, a couple guys that are in the depth here. He's going to Johnson, wants that CC. He misses the diving grab, and that is your ball game. 21-14, Nelson 79 triumphant over Darth Rockman. A good back-and-forth game there, and Darth Rockman just ran out of time. Yep. You know, the, the game winner was rising, ghosting him for a touchdown on a bomb. Well, Nelson 79 triumphant in the battle of the Tappers here. Uh, I think this was our first Broncos-Falcons matchup of the week. And looks like the silent reporters have returned. I don't know what their comments are, but we're glad you're with us here. Stay tuned. We'll have another game for you shortly. A rookie FBI agent, intelligent and determined. A brilliant psychiatrist, manipulative 
and insane. What does he do, this man you see? A series of brutal crimes only he can help her solve. Are you saying that he's killed again? A series of questions only she dare ask. Tell me his name, doctor. All good things to those who wait. The Silence of the Lambs. Yes! Rated R. Starts Thursday, February 14th at theaters everywhere. And welcome back, Trojan 1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer Channel, welcoming in a new, uh, new broadcaster uh, in the color booth. We've got Sammy Smith, 33, the organizer, founder of uh, Millard's Mayhem slash Teen Wolfly 1 and 2. Uh, welcome to the booth. Hey, how's it going? That's going great. Uh, glad to be back. Good tournament, 64 people, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll see about Millard's Mayhem. This uh, Corona's kind of put in a stop to a lot of our live tournaments so i don't know if uh by august or even in the next month or so hopefully get some sort of recognition on whether or not we're going to stay secluded or they're going to open stuff up but it's looking more towards the staying secluded area so it we'll will be interesting to see how it impacts the local tournament community moving forward i know some events are getting postponed or outright canceled uh, you may see a number of events that are sort of squashed together um, uh, in the fall. I would imagine by then, and there's a number of tournaments that happen in the summer. So do they get delayed? Do they get postponed? Do they get outright canceled um, and, and, and rescheduled for the following year? So we'll see how that all shakes up for right now. We're going to enjoy some online techno. We've got a game between Thrash and Alpha TD this week theme. If you're just joining us, week one is good by horses. It's a play on uh, that Music that was playing when Buffalo Bill is doing his transformation dance in Silence of the Lambs. These matchups feature the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. Colts, wow, I learned to speak yesterday. Indianapolis Colts. So their preset matchups, uh, Thrash and Alpha TD are rocking out this one. Let's get back to the main gameplay screen that you guys are used to seeing. I'm Trojan up at the top here. Sammy Smith down below me here rocking it out. Thrash is I knew it. Another thing is. about these quarterbacks is John Elway has horse teeth and Jeff George has a nice mane. I love that. It's That's very, fantastic. I, we don't, probably don't see too many uh, Jeff George sightings in these uh, in these streams, but um, in this game we've got the Cowboys and the Broncos, and uh, we'll see if Big Booty Aikman can move it down the field here for Thrash. Why don't you break down this particular magic, Cowboys and Broncos, as we get started? Uh, both quarterbacks are kind of shaky. That's the one thing that you got to rely on. Always a little bit faster, but you got Emmett's run game and the line's probably better. Defense, both have good corner and a safety, but um, I think Denver's line's probably a little bit faster with Fletcher and Mecklenburg. So it'll be interesting to see if the running attack and if Aikman can uh, complete some passes or Elway in that matter. So. I think it's pretty fair across the board. It's the running games that are the big factors for both these teams, I think. And don't forget, I lurch me. I lurch me hard. Defensive line lurching is permitted as this week's gameplay modifier. Pass four is the call here on first down. Aikman dropping back, going for an overcheck early on first down, throwing it up. He's got the JJ. There it is. Thrash running away from Alpha TD. And wow, Alpha TD with a huge tap there. 17 over Thrash. It's first down and 10. And that's the thing you're hoping to get with uh, Aikman, those JJs. They can be uh, deadly. You got Novacek, you got Irvin, and some people like using right, too, for that speed factor. So running right at Simon Fletcher is Emmett Smith. There he goes. Metal balls on the oh, ground, fumbled, no recovered way. by the Broncos, and out of bounds. Huge break wow. there for Alpha TD after giving up that huge gain to start. I wonder if that was Mumford and Sons who recovered that boy. Single back formation, bottom hash mark. Oh, I think. Oh, we got the buck quick. Oh, dangerous. Right at the bat. Yeah, cold pass four there. I like the his playbook, though. It's set up pretty well for uh, running and getting his guys in position for big gains, just like we're seeing here. Nice reverse field there by Humphrey, just short of the marker, third down and one. Got my Humphrey figure still here on the desk. Oh, yeah. Classic. Oh, the lurch attempt. It's missed. Here comes Elway. Ooh, Underneath man. to Melvin Bratton. He's loose in the field. Drones are there. Gobble him up short of the 40 first down for Alpha TD. That pass speed Elway, that's the one nice thing you get. Danny Hendricks across the formation. Run three is called. Humphrey still gets a gain, though. Second and eight. 
Yeah, it almost run away from him on those plays. Keep keep going down. That's the one thing bad about Dallas too. Their linebackers are not that good, so it's hard to stop some of those Denver run plays. So that run four is and that pass three are very susceptible to the lurch. Oh yeah. So I but, wonder if Thrash will pick up on that later now, but here comes Humphrey. Zigging, zagging. You should make this a house call. Ten, five, Tutty. Touchdown. There you go. Little Bobby Humphrey in the house. It's too bad he held out. I wonder what his career would have been like if he would have signed with Denver and not held out that whole year almost. 7 nothing. your score. Alpha TD here over Thrash. We've seen some explosive gains here early, but Alpha TD with the lead after the fumble. Here comes Tommy Aggie out of his end zone. Directional kick. Takes it to the middle of the field and gobbled yeah, up short of the 10. Thrash has to figure out how to stop Bobby or it's going to be a long day. We'll see if he can answer back here with Big Booty and Emmett. There's run one there at the top. Go. Mecklenburg running away from Smith and the there blockers. Here he goes. There you go. And out of bounds at the 37-yard line. First down and 10 for Thresh. He's got his token curls in pass three. Borrowed from the Philadelphia playbook. Jump ball city. <laughs> they used to call it speed ball. Might be calling it thrash ball if he keeps the way he's been doing it. I think you stick with Emmett here, man. I, I think you just keep running it until he stops it. Called one I mean, three. I like how he has that draw play uh, at two because he has other plays that defeat the lurch. Yeah, exactly. Calvin Martin just short of the marker. They're third down and three. You've played the hardcore format. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, it depends on who you play. I think that's a big one. I think um, depending on who you play, if you can get run plays and you have a quarterback that can move, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you have a slow quarterback and you pick plays that you can dive in, like that Smith two run play, you could get in on that pretty quick. So I wouldn't call that play too much. Or if you saw that formation, you could get in on that. Right, oh, Ooh, you get Grubhub or what? No, that's friends. <laughs> that's probably the kids wanting to play outside. So Big Booty Aikman may be hitting the bench here. Babe Laufenberg in good condition. Yeah, I, I think that's good. a smart move. So. Sammy Smith lives in a gated community. Don't worry, everyone. Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> Across the formation with yeah. Atwater against Sammy, excuse me, uh, Emmett Smith. There he goes. And there he goes. He's loose. 20. That, that's what you got to be afraid of. I told you, stick with the Emmett. You won't be disappointed. Touchdown. Oh, the late dive. The salty dive at the end there. Touchdown from Emmett Smith. The great one. And he is giving his team a tie game here pending this goes through. It does. 7-7 seven, seven your score, so we got a close one here. Yeah, I think that's a smart move. I mean, I think both these guys are struggling to stop the run right now, so, I mean, I think you stick with it. Stick with what works, and then maybe you can sneak a, a pass play in there. Melvin Braden on the return, not a whole lot there. 3-21 Tecmo time remaining in the second quarter. Pro set formation. Pass there we three go, Buck. Clarence oh. he drops it. Wow. Clarence Stonehands. Um, everyone looks good. I think was Bobcat and Bad, Bobby Humphrey. That will not help the cause, but he's no. still got some wheels. Yeah. He's still fast enough he'll, to. He'll be at 56, I believe. Ooh, stuck. Yes. Oh, boy. Still stuck. Oh, oh, oh blown opportunity there. Man. He could have gotten first down and more, third down and six. A lot more. And he might have had a blocker with him. Yeah, I don't... Might take a chance there and dive in on those. But always pretty fast, so you got to be careful. Yeah, the... Wow. That, oh, another that big mistake there. Scramble, and instead, he runs the wrong way to Zelfa TD punt time. Yeah, two big mistakes there. The Humphrey run and Elway right there. He should have easily had that first. Or completed the pass. He could have threw it, too. I think he didn't know he was going to cross the line there. 
Tommy Aggie on the return, really nowhere to go here. Dodges a few drones. Nice play to at least get it out past the 10 inside the 15. First down for Thrash here with 146 remaining in the second quarter. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Thrash can gash that Broncos defensive line with uh, Emmett again. Seems like he's got the taps on Alpha, too. Thrash playing paper, rock, scissors with run three in his passing attack. Yep, definitely. Good thing to do. He's going for nope. it all. He wants Novacek. I no, won't he's need it all. Yeah, he's got <laughs> the coverage, so he doesn't get shit. Third down and two. The babe. Looking looking a little too pretty on that. Gotta gotta be a little sloppy. Get that JJ going. Yeah, that mullet's too feathered. Yep. Oh, and blocked. He wanted Calvin Martin was going to get him anyway with the fourth down and two here. Decision time. You're giving up points in this situation uh, if you do not convert. Yes, yeah, for sure. You got to punt it. That's the that's the smart call on that one. I don't think you trust Babe in the back of the end zone. <laughs> or Big Booty oh, for that matter. For it. Oh, boy. Big play. Yeah, I'm going to call run one, and uh, this is going nowhere. Oh, man. So, you know, Alpha TD in the driver's seat, 36, excuse me, 37 seconds remaining here in the tie game. Dude. That is huge. End of the half, of course. Burner to There's Vance Johnson taken down. He has time at least for one more play before he takes a field goal. I believe Alpha gets the ball back too, doesn't he? Uh, that seems about right. Oh, man. He's crossed yeah. the formation. He gets in the end zone, and so oh, Thrash pays yeah, the price. Yeah. Alpha TD takes the lead. Yeah, that's a big play right there. I don't know. Because you're not getting a lot of time with the ball back either. It's not like you got a couple minutes to try to make a score back at him on the, before the half. So that was a, that was a mistake. And if I were to, you know, just on paper, I would put Thrash um, as the favorite in this. And he takes it out of bounds wisely here as we enter the... Halftime, welcome to it. What did you see? In oh, another skip. Oh, I'm gonna, man. I'm going to have to that, that's, your, that's your pet peeve. <laughs> I think they do this intentionally just to piss me off. I don't know, man. Um, and the shield must got to him or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we'll see what happens here. We got... Uh, I think we're going to see more Humphrey this drive. I think his Elway... Yep, there you go, right away. And... Ooh, wow. Ah. Oh. When you have yep. the kind of taps, man, you've got the potential for a breakaway at any time. Yeah, and that's huge, especially with Humphrey's speed. And Dallas's D isn't the fastest besides Hendricks and Washington, so if you can eliminate one of them. Good there here. we go. Get on the Bobcat. Yeah. Out to the 31 first down for Alpha TD with the lead 14-7 here in the third. I wonder what condition he's in. He got out of bad because that could be Fumble City, especially with Humphrey. Something Second to watch out for. And nine, only one yard there, another cold play. Oh, see, I'd be the center here. Dive in. Ah. Oh. There's a pass three. Oh, gets the arrow trick, but misses the throw. Does Elway, which is not uncommon. Third down and nine. Oh. That's that's the good and the bad with Elway. Fast passes, but sometimes inaccurate. Run three is you know, I I, I think oh, just about every single called run three, Alpha T D has moved the ball. Yep. I think you uh setting up for a punt. Saran punt looks pretty long here, but just in the end zone. So Ooh. no chance for that fumble that you want with juice defenders running down. First down and ten for Thrash. Can get back in this game past four and coming from the bottom hash mark. Then it's yeah, big, defense. It's big cold. Stop. Wants a Nova check. He's got the diving grab. Oh. That's pure garbage. He'll take it first and ten. That's that's what you want with Dallas. You you want a little you want a little garbage time. <laughs> you don't want right. it accurate. I mean, not that Denver safeties are super good ints, but you know if you get Smith and his rating changes, that could be that could be costly for you. So you want a little garbage in the air. Arrow trick to Irvin wants the playmaker, and way overthrown and deflected by Dennis Smith in complete third and nine. Yeah, that's a that's a big one, Irvin. Sometimes gets up for that. JJ's on speed ball time. Here we go. And went to the wrong guy. It's covered. Fourth and nine. I think Thrash will probably play again. It's going right back to the same play. Wow. 
Wants the JJ. He's got it. With the arrow trick even to Jay Novacek. Wow. Big play. Lafflenberger. You can do everything manly. right, and he'll go to that play, and he's over 50% on it. Yeah. In the end zone, he wants it again. He's got the JJ. He's got the touchdown. And wow. uh, Thrash is going to go. She's going to double down on this because it keeps him in the game. And that's that a touchdown huge. from Babe Berg to Novacek. I, I don't know how to stop that. I don't either. It's it's tough. I mean, Novacek's one of your better tight ends in the game. And when he's on and you can get it in the right spot, he'll catch it pretty much almost every time. So, and trying to set your defender up when you can't see him on the screen is tough. You throw the no arrow track in there as well. That makes it even more difficult. First down and 10. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Alpha TD can get a little control over Elway here. I think he's got the options to hit guys, but he's just made simple mistakes. So, no lurching yet. Yeah, that's that's a lurch play right there. To probably disguise it, I think you'd really have to have the other motion runs, the one at the bottom and the top, mixed in there. At yeah. least one of them, because that pass three is also lurchable. But anyway, third down and four. We've covered that already. Back to the game here. Top hash marks. Uh, pro set. There we go, Bobby. He should have the first down here. Bobby. First. There he goes. The cat. Oh, and he gets the the drone bounce off. Here goes Bobby yeah. Humphrey. This could be a house call. Oh, man. He's on his horse. Woo! -wee. 10. Top cat's gone. Touchdown. And that's a touchdown. Oh, there you go. Bobby Humphrey getting it done. We've seen it before early in the game. He's the workhorse. He's getting it done. 20 to 14 now, Alpha TD with another lead. 4 12 in the fourth. Yeah, he's taking he's taking advantage of that weak defensive uh, line of Dallas and just making sure his drones can get out to the corners and he's out tapping too, so that's nice. Don't you tread well on me. Here comes Tommy Eggie out of the end zone. Chance for Thrash to respond. <laughs> Got a blocker. Oh, here he goes. Use him. Oh. Zigging, zagging, finally taking down oh. the thirty-one. Nice return. That would have been great. Hard to house it with both of these teams in the return game. Yeah. Here we go. And uh, look at say a handoff here. At water against this run three. I don't know that it's been super successful. He does minimize the bleeding there. Only eight yards, second and two. Yeah, you almost go Mecklenburg on that one. Obviously, you have a little bit of a cutback lane when you take LB1, but there it is. First and ten and back-to-back -back run threes. Thrash is going to keep calling this and then try to get you in that situation where you're calling run against that pass three. Yeah. And he's done a pretty good job of that this second half where he's getting those guys open. So The one we'll see, thing I'll say it. is you got to hope for that fumble with the middle, middle of the field tackle. Yeah, look at this. He has oh, it. He squeezes it in. Oh, no. How the Martin, he might happen? be gone. He might be gone. Oh, man. Calvin Martin just short of the 10-yard line, first and 10. It's got plenty of time won. here. Yeah, you almost wonder if you can't stop him. Do you let him score to try to get in field goal range? I mean, he's move I mean, Alpha TD's moving the ball pretty well, too. So you almost let him do that. I don't know if Simon Fletcher is going to get that stop you want. And there's a diving touchdown. There it is. Novacek. Jeez, he's on fire. Unbelievable. Jay Novacek having a career game here. And Thrash about to tie this one up. I would say Babe's definitely having a career game. I wonder I've what his record is. Babe for will play in the, in the, like, the real NFL. Yeah. I, I thought it was like a made-up character. Yeah. Like Turd Ferguson. I think he was in the movie Bambi, if I'm not mistaken. So here we go, minute and 24 left. Let's see, oh, he's got Brandon, he's got some space too. He's gonna get out to at least a 30 here, if not more. He's gone. Huge position, uh, he has in plenty easy distance here for a field goal, um, oh, as far as, as far as like within just a couple plays here. Oh yeah, a couple Humphrey runs and you're pretty much set. Over the top, he's got Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Taken down to the 33, first down. Now I believe in miracles. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough off of, off of a field goal. Gotta be starting something. Down to the 29, second and six, maybe one play here. 
does not want to have a, a return opportunity. He got to get enough off the clock, and he, I think you want to try to kick it just in case he gets blocked if you get the ball back. Yeah, for sure. So this is where you want to kick it. Let's see if Alpha will do it. For all the marbles for this week. This is the kick. You don't have a great rush option here. Hendricks off the edge, possibly. He's going to try Ken yeah. Morton. Gets a bump, but yeah. oh god, this looks like a perfect kick. And it is. Hey, me gusta. David Treadwell on me. Gets it down for Alpha TD. And Big. Pending, pending a miracle hero thrash is going to fall short. Yep. And you think about that fourth down and before the half, if you would have punted, this game's probably thrashes unless he scored there. I mean, that might have been the difference maker in today's game. 24-21, well, your score Broncos over Cowboys Alpha TD, triumphant over Thrash. You saw a lot of passing, a lot of running. The team's playing to their identity, which is typical in a matchup like this. So thanks, Sammy Smith, for calling this game with me. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll have another game for you shortly. All right, guys, we're playing against NFL legends. If we're going to survive this, we've got to stick together. Bring it! Bring it. Sap. No fast! Hot, hot! Get down here! Shorty does cool, girl. Yeah, that's all. Hey, yo, Jerry, you gonna need some help on offense. Hey, I got this. Hey, guys, what's up? I knew it. I knew he was one of us. Uh-oh. It's Tecmo time, Trojan 1979 on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Welcoming back fan favorite, color commentator, and co-conspirator with me at the Cleveland Gaming Classic, Ryan McCabe, the Ultimate Weapon. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing, Troy? I'm doing fantastic. So we've got a game between Tadeos and The Shield. The Shield just coming off of his Thunderdome victory, so congrats to The Shield on that. Also took the congrats. tournament over at Cleveland Gaming Classic back in November. So, any of you all that are taking the shield lightly don't know what's going on. Today, I was, of course, representing East Coast Tecmo. And this is Goodbye Horses. All matchups this week will feature the Denver Broncos or the Indianapolis Colts. And I'd lurch me. I'd lurch me hard as the gameplay modifier, meaning the defensive line is permitted to lurch this week. Let's switch it over. Denver Broncos, Dallas Cowboys. By the way, this game is in running for game of the week. Want your vote in chat. You'll see this game. You'll see one more. You'll either be Viking Mo or Darth Rockman commenting with us on that game. But the game after this is going to be good, as will this be good. You let us know which of the two you like best in chat. If you're watching this after it airs, make sure to leave a comment on the video. So, guess who took the Cowboys? Tim Ubik? No. The Shield? He don't like really? Cowboys, does he? If he does, I mean, he doesn't let it be known. Yeah, he likes the Cowboys. Yeah, he does, just a little bit. <laughs> so what What? So what did Rex Ryan have to say this week? Uh, well, do you want me to do the G-rated version? I guess Rex Ryan uh, said, call the Mari Cooper a bowel movement and that he would not have paid him the money that he pay, uh, was paid by the Dallas Cowboys because he quote-unquote disappears in big games and gives up on routes. So well, Amari Cooper, Cooper, excuse me, is not in uh, this game. We've got the playmaker, Novacek, uh, you know, the triplets there, and like, Big Booty Aikman. So we'll see how the Shield commands uh, those players, Denver Broncos, Dallas Cowboys. Let's get to it. You want to break down what players should be looking out for in a matchup like this? Yeah, well, with the Cowboys and the Broncos, you got two great running backs, Humphrey and Emmett Smith. Uh, Denver's got a slightly weak secondary, definitely advantage Cowboys with uh, and Hendricks there at the top and bottom. But then, you know, Denver's got uh, uh, 
Fletcher at the bottom on LB4, so it really limits the run plays that the Cowboys can call. So it'll be an interesting chess match. Usually a very close game. I think this is one of the most even matchups in all of tech, personal. So today us with a, a couple sweeps to the bottom, one of the top, so taking away that lurch probability from Danny Noonan. Here's a run up the middle from Bobby Humphrey. Bounces to the outside. Here he goes. Taken down just short of the marker, second and one. Nice nine-yard pickup there on first down. I will say it doesn't appear that he has a play to disguise that, so that should be lurchable. Have you seen much lurching, Troy, with the lurch rule? We've seen a few plays that hasn't been a dominating presence. Uh, again, you kind of have, you might get a three or four yard loss, but you might also give up a touchdown. So the risk risk management changes things a little bit, but it's still Tecmo. Single back formation here. Hendricks across formation, run three. Here we go. Cavalcato blocking in front. Cuts to the bottom. Humphrey back towards the middle of the field. Bobby Humphrey with a lot of green. Bobby Humphrey out of bounds near midfield. What a run. Do, do I even need to be here, man? I'm just going to hire you like permanently. <laughs> this is so good. By the way, every time you laugh, there's an earthquake in the back. I love it, too. That, when you start awesome. getting excited, it looks like the actual crowd is causing the stadium to shake where you're calling it from. Second down and 10 for Tadeos. There we go. Run across the formation. Here's that run. Oh, it's another cavalcade, but he cuts it back against the grain. He gets two. Humphrey, nowhere to go. Third down and eight. Right back to it. I know the shooter I mean, has falls. stepped up his taps quite a bit. I don't know what Tadeus' tapping ability is, but he gets the first down. Nice following the blockers here. Falling just past Dix. Just enough. Underneath the Steve Sewell, just short of the marker. Drone dive is there after Shield gobbles him up. Second down and two. Nice drive here by Tadeos. What he can do. Pass one is the call. Elway just keeps it on the ground. Gets the marker and more. First down from the 25. Smart play. First down. Move the sticks. If you the bottom hash mark now, pass four is coming. The Red Gunsy slant play. Gets the quick pass underneath to Humphrey. And five yards for his effort, second and five. Here's a Here we go with the, the cavalcade at the bottom. He's been living on this play all drive. You, you fear those quick passes with Elway as player one a little bit more. Yeah, that, that run two against Dallas with the top and bottom corners, our best defender, is actually a really great offensive play to run against him. I mean, he can come down with the top corner, but it really discourages him from being whole. And even if he's the top corner or takes the linebacker, it's going to take a long time to get down there or he's picking a lesser defender to be at closer proximity. Nice playbook addition. This time the Shield able to get in on that one. Cross field, he's got him. I believe that's Johnson. Nice play. Vance Johnson with a touchdown. It looked like he was going to get sacked and squeeze it in there with Elway. So touchdown today. That was a nice first drive. Very nice. It, lots of runs on that play, utilizing the strength with Humphrey and getting the pass in at the goal line when it counted. All right, Treadwell boots this one to Novacek. Out of his end zone. Just short of the 15, so... First drive here for the Shield. Looks like he's got weak side open. He's got the sneak in there because he wants to keep pass one and pass two in play here. And Troy Aikman's not concussion prone, so the sneak is always good play. Not at all. <laughs> I think the over-under concussions again for him is one and a half. But that was the 90s. Exactly. Little cut back there. Nice run against by the, the block. Shield. Seven, I think your score here. Shield on his first possession. Playmakers in good. I think Smith was in bad if I saw him. I that's what I saw. Simon Fletcher on defense for Tadeos. Underneath, looks like he's going to Novacek completed in the traditional tight end position, just short of the 50, first down for the shield. 
Yeah, the shield had to be licking his chops there with Fletcher in coverage and Novacek open in the middle of the field. He really had a lot of options there. Run one there designed to go at Mecklenburg. And it's called. Takes a loss on the play. Pass three is the call. He's going to back yeah, wide receiver here. two up at the bottom. He's going to go top. He's got playmakers in good. And it is covered in complete third and 13. Run three. Here we go. Nine. Cavalcada blocking in front. Emmett trying to be patient with his blocks. Emmett Smith and a tap off. Taken down five yards short of the first down. There must be something about East Coast Tecmo and tapping. My goodness. So fourth down and five here. Shield. You can probably get it with Aikman if he wants. Goes underneath the Novacek. And taken out of bounds at the 31. First and 10 for the Shield. So nice conversion to keep the drive going. Very, yeah, it did look like Aikman could have picked it up there with his legs. Might have been... Real close, but nice pass to Novacek in the middle of the field. Second down and nine. Can't tell you how many times this player, too, I've thrown to a stationary receiver in here. Doink. And at the worst possible moments, too, of course. Pass four. Red Gun Z. Here comes Aikman. Nice deflection Ooh. in position by Padit Tadeos there. Really well wow. played. Third down and nine. Very well. Back to pass right three. Back. Right back to the shotgun. Here we go. He's gotten caught in a run. Gets the dive. Smith. Highsmith, excuse me. 10. 5. Just short of oh. the end zone. Tried to cut it to the inside there. First and goal from the 1. It's going to be hard to keep him out with Smith. Yeah, it looked like if he would have just kept running straight, he would have got in. But run see if one. it makes any difference. Versus Field Emmett Smith in for the touchdown. So, really well done there by the shield persevering and getting this game tied up pending the extra point here very well done and if you're today i mean how much better can you defend you know he had a crucial fourth down conversion there. um he had him on his heels the whole drive but just gotta tip your cap to your opponent in that case picked up the crucial downs when he needed them here comes young out of the end zone and out of bounds at the seven long way to go here Condition check time. Kubiak is going to be in the game here for some last end of half chuckets, I'm sure. Definitely don't want Elway in there chucking at 80 yard. Run four there. I wonder if that was kind of a ploy. Again, there's no play disguising that. So you kind of knew it was coming. There's a tap off. 17. Ooh. Careful, you're spraying something. First down for Tadeo's 111 remaining in Tecmo time in the first half. Here we're going to get our first deep shot. Kubiak, let's Ooh. go. Vance Johnson, the intended receiver. And he is covered. Nice man defending placement by the shield. 37 seconds remaining, second and 10. Very nice. The shield not exercising proper social distancing with his defender there. <laughs> Here we go with Cavalcada blocking at the bottom. Bobby Humphrey. Nice Ooh, dive. Nice Ooh. dive by Isaac Holt. Saved a touchdown there. Did the shield. We'll see if that plays a factor later on in the game. Here we go. Tick, 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 tick. Going to Here's Jackson. the end of the first <laughs> half. He's got the oh, GG. Jackson pulls it down inside the five and tackled at the one. Are you kidding me? What an end to the first half. Did you did you intentionally shake the laptop there or was that, <laughs> was that natural? <laughs> Look, the crowd goes wild. There I, there I did it intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a first half. My goodness. Um, great completion there. Just just a great drone tackle at the same time and, and no, nothing comes out of it other than a, a few extra yards on the stat sheet but Novacek past the 10 and I should have silenced my phone failure alright so back to it yeah Novacek if you're the shield bad. there you have to be very pleased at how that first half ended not only do you get the ball to start the third quarter two crucial stops one on the dive with hold, and then one, the drone tackle inside one yard line there. And he has to be thrilled to have a tie ball game and then get 
the ball back here. So really well defense by t- really really good defense by both players. I mean, we've seen really good defensive positioning by Tadeos too. He had that Fletcher pay, play where he was in the right place at the right time to deflect that pass. Nice run through there, Smith gets enough for the first down. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm paying attention to the tabs, and it's looking like the shield at time is bursting and Tadeus isn't consistently that much higher, so it's perceivable that eventually there could be a, a tapping situation where the shield might come out on, ta- on top. He doesn't want to test that, but if he had to have it, you, you had to think there's a chance. So Aikman dancing around. He's got Novacek in the middle again. I think he's in bad, so you got to be a little careful about in the middle. Of the, uh, I would su- seriously consider putting him on the outside uh, in a wide receiver two position just because he's going to be closer to the sideline. Right. Also gives you a nice sweep block for Smith at the bottom of the screen on the weak side open and run three. This is true. Cross field pass is thrown out of bounds to one of the vendors. Here comes Aikman, buying time. Nice play, gets the oh! auto dive, but Highsmith can't get away, but not before first down at the 39-yard line. Shield now definitely in field goal range, 2 5 third quarter remaining. Bottom hash mark. That is about as close as you can get in tech, folks. You're Shield, with this. great run oh, three there because Fletcher was caught right in the path, so he had to run all the way to the top and come back. It was with that circling on the previous play and then just the timing of letting it go. That was really well done. Michael Irvin's kind of caught in the middle here. Nice maneuvering again to get out of bounds, avoiding that grapple in the field that might lead to a fumble. Just really expert maneuvering by the shield. Called play. Can he get it off in time? He needed just another split second that he that guy just finally arrived into spot. The wide receiver one there. Going back to the same play, this is pass four. It's called again, and this time it's thrown away. So back to back here. Tadeo's not wanting to lose on that play. Third and 19. We'll see if he's just going to try to get in position. He's going to go going to the bottom, too. He's definitely not. Oh, now he's going to switch it to the top. Nice maneuvering by Smith. I mean, d- all those drones around, he gets that close, and now he's going to take his three. Very well done. I know this is, you know, a, a three-yard, excuse me, a three-point drive here. But we saw some pretty incredible things there from the shield. We did. I mean, it, to come away with any points on this drive is huge for him, especially after the defensive stops that he had before the half. I mean, the momentum's on his side. Even though he's only got the slight three-point lead, we'll see what Tadeos does here to counterpunch. Paul Young out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Seven seconds remaining here in the third. And I got a sideline reporter here with me. Steve Tasker? Uh, this is this is third BB. All right. Yeah, third third BB in the booth, everyone. Hi, I mean, third BB. Can't hear you, but he should be in bed right now. Back to it. <laughs> Just past four. Completed advance. Johnson taken down. Welcome to the fourth quarter. 10-7. Shield over Tadeo's. So, today I was battling some conditions here, but he certainly has all the tools he needs to get down the field. Let's see if he goes for explosiveness or if he's going to try to milk the clock and tie the game here. Or milk the clock and get a touchdown if time expired. Back to that run four. You, you know, Troy, you only really put that in with no counterplay if you really feel that you have the tap advantage because that just isolates you one-on-one, um, you know, against the man defender. Yeah, I, I just feel like the dropbacks there, the dro- a, a straight drop back, a, a handoff is susceptible to a lurch at the very least a middle sure. linebacker dive if you know it's coming. Oh, um, absolutely, but, especially with the lurch rules in effect. But these guys are expert players, and I'm just a guy in a, with a microphone. Well, there goes the sideline reporter. <laughs> Maybe he'll be back. We'll find out. He's going back down to the field to get the scoop. And nice defensive oh. play. Shield in perfect position does not bite up on the arrow trick. Fourth down and six. And that, folks, is why Isaac Holt is not a receiver. 
That is why he hit defensive back. Hit him right in the chest. Arrow attract to Humphrey. Here he goes. I think the shield forced the issue a little bit too much there. Looks like at the very least he's going to give up a field goal here. Bobby the Humphrey. Oh, Bo man, he's the man. Bobby Humphrey. Huge game. Back to Red, Red Gun Z here. Got a couple options open. There's Humphrey again. Just carving up the defense. First and goal from the four. Shield needs to hold him to three here. Short of the Ooh. end zone. Second and one. Second and goal from the one. I'm really surprised he didn't get in there with all the block that he had. Oh, dive. Ooh, wow, oh, wow. Manny Hendricks bails him out. Third and ten. Huge defense. Win with the run three. Hendricks across the formation. The blocking is not blocking in front. He cuts back. Hendricks comes up with another big stop. I, I you got to take the points here and play some defense. Away it goes. This will be good. It is good. 10 10 your score today. I was in shield late in the fourth quarter here. Don't tread well on me. We got a good game here. Very good game going here. One minute, 52 seconds left. The shield gets the ball back. See what he can do. Can he get in field goal? Novacek taken down in the field. You know, him as a returner in bad condition, at least he was. I don't know if he's still. Yep. That's, yep. A, that's a bit of a liability there. I think getting yeah. out of bounds is probably the better way to go because ball control doesn't matter on kickoff returns. Um, just remember it, kids. Get out of bounds and don't have relations uh, nine months before your favorite Tecmo tournament. <laughs> Aikman dropping back. Shield buying, uh, just, again, maneuvering around, buying extra seconds. He has the... Oh. Looks like he had him. The defender perfectly placed there. Tadeo's really well played. 50 seconds remaining here. He's got time to even just get into like a field goal situation here. Here's the run three. Really good drone support. Third down and two. Here's Big another play here. Here we go. Cavalcade of blocking in front. Smith chooses to just take the first down instead of cutting back. It'll be 26 difficult. seconds left. It'll be difficult to get a, a receiver in position for a field goal attempt, but I think he's going to have to let it fly here. Going up to Novacek, who's in bed. He's going to be close, probably a little short here. Yeah. And he goes incomplete. Welcome to overtime. Wow. Great, great game played by both guys. I mean, you know, to hold each other to one touchdown and one field goal, both very accomplished, good players that played for a long time. It's been a really entertaining game to watch. Some really expert maneuvering, like you said, Troy, by the shield with the pass play, some great defensive positioning by both players. We've seen a little bit of everything. Paul Young really nowhere to go down to the six. Just want to recap overtime rules for everyone. Uh, First score wins, uh, none of this uh, modern NFL stuff. First points on the board in overtime uh, will win the game. If there's not a winner in the first overtime, uh, the game, a new game will begin, uh, and the person that kicked off will receive the kickoff to begin, uh, and that game will continue on as normal. Um, so the one thing to note is that average conditions will kick back in if that's the case. So Steve Sewell drops a wide-open pass. Of course, he was thrown about three feet away from... Elway at full speed, third down and seven. You know, Elway, he doesn't know how to just do the soft touch pass. He's got that, what, 75 pass speed Needed coming out of far. his hand like a rocket. Well, Bobby Humphrey with the stationary reception, first down and 10. Moving the chains here. Manny Hendricks on Jack defense. Call play. He does not let a fly. Of course, it's always a little bit more dangerous when you're using Elway. Loss of 10 on that. Here's Bobby Humphrey on the sweep. Reverses his field. Nice and two nice cutbacks there. Makes this manageable. Third down and 10. Back to Hendricks. Runs right at him. 
pretty good drone support there. And he's taken down fourth down and five. Yeah, I think when he time. called that, he knew for sure he was going to go for it no matter what. Um, picks up five yards, fourth and five. Most really good Tecmo players. If it's fourth and four or fourth and five, you know, they believe they can get that. Oh, when he down his legs, does get the marker up. It looked like for his moment he was going to go to bounds too soon, uh, but uh, he gets it. First down to Deos. Showing good patience there. Yeah, very good patience in a critical situation. Uh, I'll say back. Th this at today, even though he just made a good offensive play, uh, his play on defense today has been absolutely lights out. Yeah, he's had the right guys in the right place at the right time almost every single down. Humphrey on another suit at the bottom. First down, now in field goal range for David Treadwell. First down and 10. From the bottom hash mark, pass one is the call. Steve Swool over the middle. And dangerously tackled inbounds, but he's getting closer for Treadwell, first and 10. Back to the shotgun. Pass three is called. Here's a throwaway. Second and 10. This time for the bottom hash mark, it's run three. Here we go. Blocking in front. Cuts back. Humphrey. Oh, my goodness. He coughs it up. It's recovered by the Cowboys at the 35. The one thing you didn't want to have happen was get tackled in bounds. He got tackled in bounds. Fumbled it. Shields in the driver's seat. 54 seconds. Uh, Going to try to get a little closer. He's get, got some carefree attempts to throw down the field. Um, if he can get a little bit closer, I think he'll be in Ken Willis field goal range. Touchdown saving tackle there by Tadeo's getting the out tap. Cross field. He's got Kelvin Martin out of bounds. 17 seconds remaining here. So huge turnaround shield in the driver's seat. Wisely gets out of bounds. Called run three, second and 15. I would expect a run one here to get to the top and just go straight out of bounds to line up with the top hash. All right, Nostradamus. <laughs> oh, wait, he's in the tournament. With the, he better just pray that's not Tony Romo holding for that field goal attempt. Oh, it's blocked! Blocked! <laughs> blocked! Oh, my! <laughs> Denver picks it up! Mark Munford the Broncos! Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the second overtime. Wow. We're going to have to start up a new file for you here, but look at those stats real quick. Uh, before we... Uh, kicking on over 22 runs by Denver. Uh, a lot of offense for Denver. Dallas, not as much, but certainly about the similar amount of uh, first downs, 14 to 12. This is crazy. So the Shield should receive here the opening kickoff for overtime. And uh, we're going to close this, get the next uh, replay file open for you. And here we go. And we should see today as kick this off. And he does. Second overtime, first score. Will will get it done. This game continues on. Great back and forth game here by these competitors. They, they both have just played an absolutely outstanding game. That block field goal notwithstanding. I, I swear, something with Tecmo... If you're kicking a field goal in overtime, it's like they double the chance of getting blocked. <laughs> Maybe they did. I guess we'd have to ask Brewdog that. He'd have to break that stat down. I, I think it's right there in that same thing with the players that they think fumble more than others that don't really. Um, but it's a superstitious thing. All right, second down and nine. Shield with run three to Emmett Smith. Again, conditions have reset everyone, so... Just like a brand new game, because it is. Had a, some blocking there, evaporated quickly. Back to run three again. Only one blocker on the sweep, so definitely a called run. Enough to get out of bounds in that first down. Moving the chains for the shield. Pass through. We've seen a lot of this from him today. And you know, oh, called play. He's got the stationary RB2. Here's Alonzo Highsmith. Huge gain. Taken down. Should have got out of bounds. He didn't. Didn't matter. First and ten. 
You know, real quick there, Troy, even though that was a called play against the Shield, I really liked the aggressiveness because it was a called run, the play before he only got one blocker, he goes right for the aggressive shot, gets it to his call safe receiver, really nice, well done. 15-14, to 14, Shield getting closer on those tabs, second down and six. Back to pass three. A lot less coverage this time. This Highsmith, the same receiver, this time out of bounds, closer to another field goal attempt from David Treadwell. The last one was blocked to end the first overtime. This will be a, an attempt from uh, Willis for the Cowboys. My apologies if I, that one. I got that mixed up. Second down and two. the weak side open. I don't know if he's called this one yet. But he gets a first down for him. Um, you know, really having three plays that go to the bottom away from or targeting Simon Fletcher. Here comes Aikman getting it down with his legs, so getting real close here. Second down to five. Shield almost in quick tap mode here. Atwater running across the formation, one blocker. Here he goes. Oh, He's there nice. he goes. Emmett Smith down the sideline. Touchdown, Dallas. And that's all she wrote. Emmett Smith putting the exclamation mark on a Cowboys victory. Unbelievable. Well, that was an incredible game to call with you guys. The Shield pulls it out in double OT over Tadeo's. Tadeo's great defensive performance. Shield had it where you needed it. Fantastic game, guys. So we're going to have another game for you shortly. We want you to go ahead, watch this game and the next game, and let us know which the two you think are the game of the week. Absolute pleasure to call this with you, Ryan. Oh, always, Troy. Thanks for having me. All right, everyone. Stay tuned. Last game of the broadcast will be up shortly. It's Tecmo time. We're back again. Trojan 1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel with Viking Mo. How you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me again. It's so good to have you back. First broadcast for us personally uh, for this season. Uh, you've been a fan favorite, and we're doing game two out of two games that were considered to be candidates for game of the week. So uh, those of you in chat, go ahead and let us know after you watch this. If you saw the game between Tadeos and The Shield, definitely let us know your thoughts regarding which game you like better. If you're seeing this uh, after a broadcast uh, over on YouTube, go ahead and just leave a comment. With this game, Arnquam and Tecmo DPS, uh, going to be an instant classic here. We are in Goodbye Horses week one. Week one's modifier is I lurch me, I lurch me hard. That means defensive line lurching is permitted this round only, and all of the matches will feature, have been featuring the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. There were set matchups. Let's take a look at the matchup that they selected. Arnquim called Dallas and Denver. Looks like Tecmo DPS went with Denver, and Arnquim has Dallas. Why don't you go ahead and break down what to look out for. And we have seen a few of these matchups already in the previous broadcast, but I'd like to get your thoughts on it, break it down, X's and O's. Here we go. Yeah, I, I kind of liked uh, Denver in these matchups just because of the uh, more speed uh, with John Elway uh, to kind of avoid those lurches up the middle on some of those pass plays. It opened up the playbook a little bit more. So that's why I kind of favored Denver. I think Denver with the faster back, too, uh, I think is the better team in this matchup. Not a great return there for Novacek. You can see the taps early, kind of bailing him out there. Sweep to the bottom, second down, and six now. And again with the lurching, you're going to see a mix of playbooks that you might not normally see in a traditional technical tournament matchup. Time for back and be already. Wants Novacek going deep. And he's double covered in complete third and six. Yeah, I figured I'd see a lot more shotguns with the lurching factor, especially if you don't have a fast quarterback to evade it. And we might be seeing this again. Backing up, now going underneath to Alonzo Heist, but he has the marker. Tries to get out of bounds. Ball's on the ground. Fumble. Bounce around, picked up by Dennis Smith, number 49, taken down at the 30-yard line. First down, Tecmo DPS. Huge break to start the game. 
It is, and I, I was surprised he went to the pass so much, um, but uh, tried to get out of bounds, just couldn't get there, and huge break for Denver. Crossfield advance. Johnson wants him outside of his reach. That was pass two in complete second down in 10. He did have the stationary wide receiver one there, did Tecmo DPS. Wanted it all. Here's the run three to the bottom. He's got a blocker versus field, just short of the marker, third and one. Lots of guys disappearing there. Uh, kind of hard to see who was there and who wasn't. And we're backing up cross to RB2, Vance Johnson, zigging, zagging in the end zone, touchdown, Denver. Interesting play to, to keep, uh, well, great scramble to begin with to kind of keep the play alive there and, and pull them in for to bring the pressure. But uh, to put Vance Johnson at uh, running back two is an interesting strategy uh, if this 50 MS uh, can find a way to stretch the field in a different spot than he usually is in. 7 nothing. your score. Tech with DPS with an early lead over Arn Quim. Plenty of time like to, to respond you. here if you're Arn. Yeah, I'd like to see Arn really kind of use his tapping advantage here. And you saw he had two of those pro form sweeps to try to get those going and see if he can get an isolation grapple and bust one here. Cross information bottom hash mark, another sweep to the bottom. Lots of blockers in the way. Dennis Smith against Emmett Smith. Excuse me, rather, Adwater against Smith. Nice run. Strange delay there back, too. It must have been technical difficulty. First down and 10. Smith against Smith. There it is. Smith on Smith crime. Second down and four. At water this time. And lots of options, but Aikman keeps it on the ground. Gets tackled in bounds, though. First down. Yeah, he's got, he's got to be patient, especially with Aikman. He's really just got to grind this out. Versing field is Smith, and the blocking breaks down. He's taken down for a loss. Looks like he had an alley initially uh, and waited a little bit too long. Second and 11. Just curious that he's kind of indecisive there. Are you going to reverse it or, or are you not? Call play double tap. Smith is there, luckily not intercepted, third and 11. Definitely dodged a bullet there. That's the risk with that pass three is that if it's called, there's not really a safe outlet. Wants Novacek going for it all, and it is deflected. Oh, we get a good cinematic here. That's what we get in the games of the week broadcasts. Seven nothing as we enter the second quarter. You always love the double jump, uh, you know, cut screen. That's always exciting. You're not, not really sure what's going to happen, even though you kind of saw what happened before it cut to it. But uh, uh, it, I tried there with the, the timed uh, jumping catch to Novacek on the, the curls shotgun. Um, but uh, so surprising that he put in those two shotguns, but not the past three shotgun, and instead wanted to disguise those sweeps in the pro formation with that past three. Big decision here. Fourth and 11, I think it, uh, this is, I mean, I think you punt here, right? Uh, apparently not. I would go for it. Punting's a turnover anyway. And so was that an overthrow to Irvin. <laughs> Big booty Aikman's not getting her done. Aikman, the LVP, as we call him, is certainly looking the part today. Uh, Noonan wanted to go maybe for a lurch and, uh, the run one of the top in and again just kind of bringing up some of the controversy regarding the lurch uh five-year loss or give up a touchdown your choice i guess pass one it's ken aikman excuse me ken elway deliver he's got jackson he he touchdown well that was a quick double score so it wasn't i take too long well that's the problem though too with it, it, it you know you're, you're going to try to lurch on elway who has that extra speed that and where he couldn't even dive in to get him and you know Noonan at nose tackles not he's not Bob Nelson well at least uh, uh, or anything close to that so there really is not a great chance to get Elway on those plays um, even when you have an opportunity to do it so uh, and when you do you know if, if there's no coverage I mean that's a touchdown whether he's at midfield or whether he had punted that ball is there a defender more fun to play with than Bob Nelson not to say more effective but just more fun to play with yeah, I mean, there's no one else like him, right? I mean, I'd argue uh, someone like Lonnie Smith, or sorry, Lonnie Young, but uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a whole different ball game with him. Second down and eight, Arnquam. Plenty of time here, but down two scores, it's a bit of a daunting uh, ordeal, especially since he started the game with the ball. Going over, to redirect to Novacek, actually a better result, I think, if he's through, just straight on through, that would have been deflected. First down and ten. And here's the run three off the top hash mark at water across the formation. 
Walking kind of breaks down and breaks a tackle. Here he goes, Emmett Smith, 50, 40, 30, 25, out of bounds of the 22-yard line, first down, Arncoam. Lots of break he needed, and he really needs to, to work the clock here, but definitely score before halftime. Call play, nowhere to go, second and 14. DPS and Denver uh, kicked off, so uh, don't want to give him a chance to double dip. Back-to-back -back call play is going the wrong direction. Is Arncoam third down and 14 needs to find a way to get a touchdown here. Gets the bump. Here he goes. 10-5. House call. Emmett Smith. Touchdown, Arncoam. Well, got the break he needed there and um, really kind of aggressive to try to stop that. The way he did um, was DPS, but I think uh, uh, he did it kind of going for it, knowing that he's going to have some time left to hopefully score uh, before half, and we might see Elway come out of the game here at some point to try a last-second heave. 14 to 7, your score here late in the second, excuse me, the first half, second quarter. Winder keeping it in bounds for now. Ken Willis stayed back, so Tech Mobile DPS felt a little more comfort trying to dodge those drones, looking at conditions. Conditions uh, favoring Arncoam right now over Tech Mobile DPS. We see some bads in the, the skill positions here for Tech Mobile DPS. And it looks like well, he's got to put some in. speed at receiver. Whether he's going to try to get a couple plays in with Humphrey before moving to receiver, um, that would probably be expected. Um, but uh, depending on how much he can kind of get some chunks here, uh, he's going to have to move Humphrey in uh, at receiver if he wants a, a good chance at a bomb. Sticking with Hellway for now, the bottom hash mark single back formation. Manny Hendricks, we got a cold pass one. Unable to break away from the pack, Ken Norton with the drone sack. Second down. This time from the shotgun formation, Elway, another call play. He had the running back underneath, could not let it go, third down and 29. It's surprising to take here. the sack in that scenario. I just thought he easily could have gotten rid of that ball. So interesting choice here, Ken Norton, as opposed to maybe Jimmy Jones. Going cross field to Jackson, way over his head. He's going to have to punt this away with Rich Horan. Great defense there. I mean, to be able to pick his play, it was, it was always going to make your defense look better. Uh, but then, obviously, great coverage on that play as well. Um, so, uh, big play there. Uh, won't be any time left unless he does an amazing punt return here. And Novacek just takes it out of bounds wisely. Welcome to halftime, 14-7. to Tecmo DPS holding on to a lead for... Mark, well, man, they skip half. I, every single one of these games, these guys are just sticking it to me. They know. Stay calm and watch halftime, right? I don't know. It's a, I I usually don't skip it just because, especially well, in this format, you want people to talk about what happened. But I uh, I think it's a nice chance to just kind of reset and say, okay, here's second half. What do I got to do? What do I need to focus on? And, um, you know, what happened that I can change? And Gives, you, gives yourself a chance to even just settle your nerves a little bit if it's a close game or things haven't gone the way you wanted. Um, but right now, this is a really important opening drive for Denver uh, and for Eric, for Aaron Corum to, to, to try to get a stop here um, and, and keep it a one-score game. Single back formation. Here's the pitch, Bobby Humphrey, run three. And a huge dive by Aaron Corum, something you wouldn't expect from a massive tapper like him. It's a great play to, to stop a play that otherwise would have probably been an easy first down, if not more. Go up to Elway. Pass the marker. I think he wanted to throw, but he went just past the line of scrimmage at first down and 10. And scrambling is just as good. I don't think he would have gotten many more yards, and it's a lot safer. You can avoid the doink. Eugene Lockhart on defense. Interesting, just a constant change of defender. Cross field here's Bobby Humphrey. Drops the ball wide open. The There's player the doink. two kicking in again. <laughs> He can hold on the ball when you hand it off to him, but apparently now when you throw to him, here comes a run to Bobby Humphrey. There he goes. And short of the first down, third down, and three. May have called it. Pass nope. four. Elway getting and done with his legs again. Gets out of bounds. And another first down for Tecmo DPS. That's so tough there, and it's a third down, so you don't want to take major risks there to try to stop. You almost got to just concede the first down and live to maybe pick a play later. 
Elway doing it with his legs again, another four yards. Even when that play was pretty well covered, he still gets four just because of that 25 maximum speed. Here comes run three with Bobby Humphrey. Good blocking. Here he goes. Pass the marker. If he had one more drone to beat, I think he could have housed it. First down and 10. A nice move there to get some extra yards, uh, kind of sucking people into the middle of the field. Just that last drone saved the day. Elway does it with his legs again. I was wondering if if he was going to try to beat that auto dive on wide receiver one, but just took it anyway. Uh, here comes a called play. Interesting completion for a loss, but not as bad as taking the sack. Second down and 13. A little risky. Uh, you know, there's never, it's hard to kind of get rid of the ball in that play sometimes, but uh, that cut it a little close. Nice initial evasion there, but that one drone gets there. Looked like he had maybe a chance underneath. You kind of hold your breath when the initial wave of your defenders on a cold play don't make it home. But a long way to go here for Tecmo DPS. And this is a play you normally see someone like Arnquam call. Nice QB block there. Elway getting into the mix. Fourth down and 17. And here comes a field goal attempt. Love to see the effort from Elway like that. That's that's really great. And you, you see DPS on that drive really conservative with LA, which this is, is smart. That might be a miss. Just a bit outside. Well, that's a big break. And, you know, a couple of called plays and uh, DPS being really careful with Elway, not wanting to throw into any kind of coverage uh, led to, to him holding him and to a field goal. A field goal would have been huge, a two-score lead. But then, then the miss, uh, which online, you know, Field goals are a little trickier, a little bit of lag, uh, depending, and uh, and and there you go. Now, uh, Arnold Holmes right back in the game. Big drive here to, to, to tie it up. James Dixon is in good. I think Robert Perriman is as well. Interesting to see some of these guys make it onto the field. Atwater against run three with Emmett Smith. There was a popcorn blocker, but the dive is there, second down and eight. Really well defensed run three. It's a tough play to stop. Aikman going cross for Novacek who doubles back and he gets the completion in between three defenders. Novacek is uh, Novacek is just breaking off his routes today and it's working beautifully. It's a great adjustment. <laughs> Smith another run three. Or excuse me, just a, I, I can't remember if that was a run three or not, but just uh, all these sweeps to the bottom and it seems to be paying dividends for Arnquam. And there's a 16 tap. Wow, welcome to the fourth quarter. 14 7. Denver over Dallas. Techno DPS nursing a seven point lead. We got an excellent Aikman big booty time. I love how he went back and just showed him. You saw he was an excellent, right? Just so you know, he was an excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty exciting. Well, that, that helps a lot, um, uh, especially that it's Aikman now. Now this whole playbook's wide open and. Um, and uh, he's really got to... Uh, I hear the sideline uh, reporter. Sideline reporters are dude. welcome to this broadcast, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I, know, I don't know if you want that sideline reporter. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another run. Smith just breaking loose. Orange jersey is in tow, and he's taken out of bounds. First and 10 for Arnquam. See, now the scramble game is wide open. He's got James uh, Dixon touchdown, Cowboys. So are the burn routes, apparently. So great throw. Uh, and with Dixon, who's not usually a contributor, uh, just fast enough, and Aikman with a little more passing speed, uh, that's a big drive, and we got a ball game. It might be the first James Dixon touchdown I've ever seen. Uh, might be the first time I've ever seen him touch the ball in a technical game. Genwell is kicking off here to Sewell. We got 14 on an answer here for Arnquam. Techno DPS watches lead evaporate away. And now he's loose with Steve Sewell. Couldn't quite get away there. Had a little bit of room on that return. John always in good, so this will help as well. Jackson's still in bad condition. Melvin Bratton's in bad. I don't think he'll make the field. Michael Young, no need to keep him around. Paul Green, nope. And back to it, first and 10 for Tecmo DPS. I do like the playbook with all the runs to Humphrey. Sometimes it's kind of fun to sneak in one with Elway there too. But... uh that run four is a little risky with the lurch. I liked what he was doing there with uh, boy, just, just 10 to 15. I, I know Tecmo DPS can sometimes burst his taps up, but I, I think Arnquam's going to have him you know, 95% of the time on these. Elway with some yeah, nice Ar maneuver and cross field. Oh, another drop from Humphrey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, 
You can blame Humphrey. You could also blame, blame Elway. That's that's just kind of the risky run when you're trying to throw uh, with Elway. That's just what happens. I blame player two, but here comes Humphrey making up for it, zigging, zagging, 40, 45, 50. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line, first down, Tecmo DPS. It's a big gash there for sure, and i um, wonder if he's going to go back to the run here. Pass one's the call. Doing it with his legs. I don't know if he got him out of bounds when he intended to. Look like he could have got a couple more yards with second down and two. Call play. That time the RB is covered. Jack Dorio gets there with the rest of the drones. Third down and seven. Bit of a chess match trying to guess run and pass here because you know if you catch Elway in a pass, it could be a turnover or he's going to just take the sack. Uh, but always dangerous with the run uh, is Bobby Humphrey. Pass one. Going over the top, he's got Jackson. Hee hee! Zigging, zagging, and taken down inside the five. First and goal from the four. As the gutsy throw, I thought. I think that, you know, the defender's right there, and just as he changed directions, he threw it. Uh, just great awareness there. It was a great play. Gets the bump. Humphrey unable to break away. This is where that goal on defense so important. Uh, he's going to be calling run a lot, so can you sneak in a pass here? So you're going to look here, either R, the w, excuse me, wide receiver one or RB2. Usually one of those is open. There it is. So, touchdown to Steve Sewell. That play's so hard to defend, especially with a mobile QB like John Elway. Yeah, it's just great spacing, especially when you roll to the top like that. Then you have that uh, second running back that's open and sitting in the back of the end zone as, as well as wide receiver one that angles down. And then, like you mentioned, uh, running back one who's dropped two passes. But uh, I think uh, right there, you can't cover everything, especially with Elway. Um, and he figured that he was going to be sitting on pass and he, uh, or sitting on run, which he probably was. Um, so uh, really tough to get a goal line stand in that situation. And a clutch touchdown there with only 41 seconds left. So uh, we're looking at uh, Heave to Novacek here probably, and maybe Abbott Smith comes in. Yeah, I would imagine he needed his speed on the field. Uh, to stretch this year, I know they got a couple other good receivers, but uh, you got to get to the end zone to have a chance at it. Uh, keep in mind, Aikman isn't excellent, so uh, that will help the cause, not from how long it takes the ball to get there, but the chances of maybe a CC uh, in the event uh, that it does land under coverage. Ideally, Aikman has a little more uh, ability to scramble and avoid the rushers and buy more time. He's not even at the 20 yard line, so he's got a lot, by a lot of time for this to. Uh, for this to get all the way down the field. He's running the same maximum speed as Elber, and I'm going to call play double tap. Here goes the RB2. He's got Highsmith, and out of bounds. So positive play there, a little more maneuvering room, and a time to go back and be. I think if you're picking that, why why not cover that hot route? That doesn't make much sense to me. So here, here comes it is. Aikman, and I think this is going to be the last heave. You want Smith. He's his man. Short. He's got him. Oh. Touchdown. Holy crap. Unbelievable. I, it's a, the diver, too. It's from that far away. It's it's usually not a diver, but uh, what I, I thought he threw a little too early, but um, it got there. Just, well, it was overthrown, but it got there. That's wow. Incredible. I don't think I've ever seen Emmett Smith catch anything but a swing pass before, but welcome to Tecmo. We got an overtime game. It's tied 21 21. We told you it was going to be a good one. Yeah, Evan Smith showing Bobby Humphrey how to catch, apparently, too. Oh, burned. <laughs> All right, overtime, nice. So it looks like DPS is going to get this. Uh, just going over overtime rules, if there is a, if this overtime does not result in a score, of course, first score is an automatic victory. But if it doesn't, because Tecmo DPS has gotten this, uh, Arn Quam would receive a, 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 a kickoff return if we go to overtime um, again. So he would get the kickoff in the second if it, if it goes to that part. And then the game just keeps continuing on, of course. In that situation, everyone would lose their conditions uh, back to average and it would be like a normal game. All right, back to it. Second down and seven. And just a quick run to the top four. Tecmo DPS. Here's pass three. And went the wrong way. He had a lot of guys open and just got gobbled up there. Third down and eight. Maybe a little bit of nerves there. I mean, it's so many options, uh, maybe too many doinks that happened already. He just didn't pull the trigger. Wants it. Oh, it's deflected. 
he did have the tight end below, and now he's got to kick it away. That's uh, risking that play, and that linebacker was just sitting back a little too far, um, and the easy knockdown, and the, what a huge break uh, on a play where everybody's open. Novacek tries to get away. Nice play by the Denver drone with that dive, and long way to go here for Arnquam. Yeah, it looked like he was just going to try to head out of bounds. He's like, wait, I don't have anybody else here, so let's see if I can get some yards. And uh, it was almost disaster. You know, those uh, punt returns, if you fumble, it's pretty much uh, points for the other team. So, Plays locked in, first and 10, bottom hash mark pro set. We've seen a lot of the sweep, and it's called. So second down and 16, DPS was ready for that. And he called the right sweep. There's two of them. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so lucky to get the right one there. Aikman underneath. Oh, look like oh, he's got the covered catch. I thought we were going to have a pick there. Third well, with seven. Aikman, an excellent, and obviously Novacek's got some pretty good receptions there. So, I mean, but still a uh, great play to kind of come up and try to steal one uh, by DPS, risking the long bomb. Doing everything right there was DPS. Going to run to the bottom again, and another first down. So Arquam seems to be the popular way for him to move the chains is run to the bottom. Another cold run to the bottom. In time, a bit of a factor here. Uh, you know, he wants to be able to grind this out and he's at least grind it to field goal range. Another he's going to need a big play. play. And another redirection. James Dixon, second big play of the game, third down and six. Wow, just uh, Aikman just throwing guys open today. <laughs> if this game uh, uh, favors, if, if Arnquam pulls this out, uh, not through the James Dixon bowl, fourth down and three. Uh, what do you do here? Well, he's With going for it. He's uh, River Boaton. He is. And he gets a cover catch. Are oh. you kidding me? Wow, with Perryman. I, I mean, Aik Aikman isn't excellent, but still. that's so, uh, right Against now you've Atwater. Got, against Atwater. The, the mental wear and tear on DPS right now has got to be absolutely insane. He gave up that diving touchdown in the end zone to Emmett Smith. Then we had uh, three called plays where one of them actually had a redirect the other two were covered catches he's doing everything right and he's not he's giving up gains and now here's Dixon again it is the Dixon bowl wow first and ten it is I, I can't blame DPS for even if he's throwing out a few expletives at this point because I mean it's just maddening what's what's happening so far in this game I think he's just blaming COVID Aikman gets a little bit closer just short of the marker but definitely in makeable field goal range I know Mecklenburg can barrel down on this but Trying to grind the clock. Got to be careful here. It's got eight seconds, so I think your attempt has to happen here. And here we go. To win the game, does he have it? Mecham Blurg. It's straight. It's blocked! It's blocked! Wow. Picked up by Mecham Blurg, taken out immediately. Welcome to second overtime. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. We'll take oh, a look the at the stats goals. there. we got a lot of yards so far. I know that Denver's had a short field to start the game on their opening scores, but my goodness. So we're going to see another game here. They're going to get right into it. Well, Denver seemed to move the ball really well early in the game, and then just for whatever reason, some drop passes and then uh, certainly uh, maybe a, of some jitters and, and some hesitance and, and certainly some pick plays um, have changed that, and uh, not to mention some – broken off routes and CCs and divers for Dallas. So um, that, those are the breaks sometimes, uh, but he had the ball. Now he has to give the ball first to Aaron Colm uh, in the second overtime. Unbelievable. Well, if you're enjoying this, pay some respect in chat. Not sure what they're doing here. They must be just having a conversation. Okay, here we are. Double overtime. Unbelievable. Right, and they can't they, they can't change playbooks or anything. Everything the thing is now is that conditions do reset. So that's yeah, the only kind of once got. once they gain possession of the ball, they can go in and realign their players, uh, but they need to go with whatever they came into the game with. Yep. 
that's the one thing you really can't control unless they hack something else was is that conditions don't carry over obviously when you have to start the game over but no ties allowed so someone has to win and that's what uh, we'll just keep calling until someone does i know in the nhl 94 community there is a rom where the overtime period has some insane number of minutes and i think it just goes on to another one and another one and but it's a 16 bit game, a little more programming in play. So, first down and 10 for Arncoam. And I think he's just checking who he wants to put where. Um, and this, you know, if you're going with the way you started the game, I think sometimes you just got to remember who, where, where is everyone? What can they do? Right. Well, now Aikman's not an excellent, and Dixon's out of the game. So, I mean, there's your. <laughs> The game has totally changed now. Obviously, we don't know what's going on with the defensive conditions, but offensively, this scenario does benefit uh, Denver more than Dallas. Denver had some guys in bad. Obviously, uh, Aikman going back into average helps out quite a bit for Denver. Arrow trick and doinked it. So third down and 10. Seems like he's kind of forcing cool. the issue. Arquam can scramble. He's got taps. Uh, Trying to go that Irvin route again and again overthrown. I don't get it. I mean, don't, not even one chance to try to run it with Emmett and instead taking really risky passes instead. Yeah, that is that is a little strange. Here comes the Saxon punt. Winder from his 19. And there's a fumble bouncing around. Doink, doink. And picked up by the Cowboys. Here oh. comes Emmett Smith. Yeah, and there is your ball game. Come on. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. He, that was a punting a strategy? I don't know. Well, I mean, at, at, at that point, you had to punt, right? Otherwise, you're giving the game away if you don't get it. And it, they can always fumble, I guess. It's just, un, I, wow, unbelievable. And, of course, it's Emmett Smith. And, of course, he houses it. And why not? Two huge plays by Emmett. The last two touchdowns of the game. What a game. Unbelievable. So definitely uh, uh, worthy of the, the billing of Game of the Week, uh, this and our prior game between Tadeos and the Shield. Cheers to you and yours. I just got water right now. It's I know it's 5 o'clock somewhere, but, uh, man, if you guys really like today's broadcast, I know it's a little bit longer in the tooth than normal. Uh, but with this opening week when everyone kind of stuck indoors, we want to give you guys plenty of tech mode to enjoy. I'd like to thank uh, Viking Mo uh, and everyone else who has stepped up in the color booth uh, this week and through and will be throughout uh, the weeks to come. Uh, we have a lot more fun for you. Four more weeks of group play followed by uh, a very fun uh, playoffs, which will be more in a traditional, call it kind of local tournament type scenario. We're going to have fun with the group play uh, next week. Tiger King. Can't wait to uh, show you those matchups and those modifiers. It's going to be a good time. So thanks, Viking Mo, for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. You bet. Yeah, really fun, great game. Uh, didn't see a lot of lurching. I guess I didn't expect it, but it uh, doesn't get much crazier than that one. There, there's some out there, but it hasn't taken over um, at, at all. Like I said, it's uh, something that's a bit foreign to a lot of players, and I think that having gone through this, I don't think there'd be too many people that would say, hey, you can't have a tournament like that. Um, but uh, another conversation for another day. So for Viking Mo Trojan 1979, uh, stay tuned. We're going to give you all of the scores from uh, the prior week, and uh, we'll uh, uh, see you next week as we do the Tiger King and Cats in a Cage. So we'll see you soon.